Welcome back to New Game Who Dis. My name is Troy LaValle. A couple minutes ago, I opened a beer that I'm going to regret in an hour. <laughs> Bad decisions. It's, it's much too strong for a stream of this nature. But I'm a little jazzed up, and I need to calm calm the old nerves. <laughs> so uh, and I'm hoping that this will, will help. Uh, we're back. We're going to play some more Cyberpunk Red. Yeah. Yes. Yay. That was a fast week. I feel like we just got off the old gaming table, and now we're back. Yeah, there was an element to it that was like, all right, we're creating characters, so I don't have to know the ins and outs of tactical combat. Like, there's mm-hmm. no way that's going to happen in the first thing. And then it ended. And I was like, oh, thank God. We got through it. <laughs> I've got so much time to read this stuff. And then I started reading it about an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. same. I felt the same way. My, I, I walked out of the room. My wife was like, how'd it go? I was like, it was great. Oh, I was so happy. And I'm so glad. I've got like a week to just <laughs> sit down with this book some more, really dig in. And, and now uh, knowing the characters, now it's going to focus character. the research. I could craft a whole story. <laughs> I had a meeting at 9.30 this morning that ended at 10.15, and since then I've just been... <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot, which I like. So I like much. that there's a lot of depth and complexity this game because I thought, or maybe I just always think that games that aren't uh, Pathfinder aren't going to have the same chunk. And what, I've, what I'm finding with this game, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this as well, is like the chunk is there if you want it. If you want to just do melee and, and ranged, you can keep it easy. But if you want to get chunky, if you want to learn like four or five different martial arts and work them into a combat, you can do that. You can get super chunky. It's so yeah. funny that you bring up martial arts because I was getting into it and reading. And when I came across the martial arts section, I was furious that I didn't do that <laughs> I know. for character creation. I was like, I, I didn't know about this. I didn't read this before character creation. Yeah. So, yeah, it is amazing how detailed it can get. But, yeah, otherwise, it does seem something like you can just jump in and play as well. Yeah, well, that's and that's pretty much what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I don't know. The game hasn't been out long enough for people to be like, I know Cyberpunk Red, and let me tell you, sir, you're doing it wrong. Uh, but I'm sure there's people that have already played a dozen games of this, and this is really our first. And so my hope is that we can stumble through the rules together. We're not going to get everything right. Um, and for the sake of the stream, sometimes it's going to be like, ah, you know what, roll a, roll a D10. Let's see what happens, and we'll figure it out as we go. But I hope as we continue to play this, like any game, um, we'll learn it better over time um but how did you guys like character creation oh my god it was amazing it was so much fun are you kidding <laughs> it's like Francis, the is that the first part. rpg character you've ever built y- yeah and i'm like i have been like looking at the picture and like just like fantasizing like ever since then it's been yeah it's it i i don't even know what to think of it the somebody's suggestion to to spell the way to spell yolo that's that's it <laughs> keep it it <laughs> that was a great suggestion. <laughs> so like a LSU tiger? It's yes. Like, yes. Is how, how is it? Uh, Yolo, it was uh, Y-E-U-X, L-E-U-X, I believe. A-U-X. Yes. L-E-A-U-X, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yolo. Just like, yeah, go, Yolo. 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 Yeah, Yolo. Quebecois spelling. The French <laughs> yeah, convention. Yeah. Yeah, good call, too. <laughs> okay, what about you, Kate? You were saying something I, when I jumped in there. Did you enjoy the, the character creation portion of it? I feel like you were the most prepared among all of us. Yeah, I definitely... It, that's always my favorite part of any game. I, I like playing the entire game of things, but character creation, I'll spend like one or two days just on that, on create a sim, anything. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a couple different ideas for what I wanted to do, but once I decided to go with the exec, it just kind of formed... And now I'm really happy with how she came out. What yeah. was one of the alternates? Yeah. I mean, I thought about the doing, <laughs> um, I, th- what are, I don't even remember anymore. You had three I- good ideas that you started out with. And then you were like, I'm really liking the exec. I think you had, did you have a nomad or an, a solo? Maybe a solo you had. I think I was looking at fixer, mm. maybe a solo. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. We don't have a fixer. Yeah. Fixer, but no. fixer and exec kind of have similar things where they, kind of set things up for the party. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I think Jade is kind of going to be the the head of this crew, whether you guys like it or not. Um, it'd be interesting to see how it all plays out. Skid, uh, you're a you're a veteran of, of cyberpunk, the genre. Uh, it seems like you really didn't enjoy it at all, and really didn't just <laughs> dive in head first. Real into character dull. creation. Just had no enthusiasm for it at all. But <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. I don't know. If you don't mind slugging this out for another week, we'll uh, I'm switch just gonna to another bear game. Down and try to feign it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, I'm an actor. I'm a trained actor. I have some experience doing that. So I'll, I'll you won't even be able to tell how little I care for this. But I appreciate it. Taking one for the team. Uh, Joe, you, uh, you, you how, where are you at with this? I think net running is very exciting. If it's something that comes up while we're playing this, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, are you glad you went net runner? Because you, uh, you tend to get uh, decision paralysis. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm devastated. I went netrunner. I highly regret it. I want to be a judo specialist, and so uh, you can I'm really be a bummed. netrunner that can do like a judo black belt. <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, I, I'm very ex very excited about it. I, the whole concept it really excites me. I hope I'm not sure when we're going or if we're going to get into it, but I mean, I know that they said that the Militech train probably has access points for a local net within the train, mm -hmm. and I'm just like fiending to get into that train and get into that net because uh, i don't know what it's going to be like there's a lot of weird like uh there's a lot of weird imagination that goes into what this is actually like what net running is actually like and i've always found it to be that way like even with android net runner like we talked about you know it mm -hmm. still has never been crystal clear to me what the experience is actually like you know what i mean yeah. like is it is it just is it like tron is it like, you know, do you actually run and hit thing and punch things that bursts into like pixels or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, this has a, a little bit more of a clear definition, I think, but I don't, I want to, I don't want to say too much because there's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, I, I really haven't delved too much into your side of it. I've only looked at it from a, a, a Game Master's perspective in the event that it comes up. And, and as I dabbled a little bit into it on your end, I was like, this seems really fucking cool. Like getting programs and le leaving your own black ice out there. It's really, really interesting. Oh, yeah. You can have everything the enemy can throw at you. And the enemy... Because like you would normally think of it as like hacking into a system that is programmed to, to uh, automatically defend against your incursion with these traps and programs, you know, and it is that, but it also has all of the rules for a competing hacker who's in there at the same time as you hacking against you. And so you can have programs that are specifically designed for defenses like automated defenses or programs that are designed to go after the brains of actual humans that are fighting against you in the net uh and not to mention that you can also have those automated defense programs on your end too the same ones the corps have you can buy them program them, use them against other net runners that are trying to hack into you it's really really cool concept and it's really yeah. easy to die when you're jacked in it's really mm -hmm. uh really dangerous you're um, vulnerable yeah, yeah, you You're take on the direct yeah. brain damage when you get attacked by something. But you can also be like being taken meat damage while you're standing there jacked in <laughs> if your team can't protect you. Like, it's incredibly dangerous. And I was reading people's reaction to Cyberpunk Red. I, was, I played my first game the other day and like a guy hit me with a shotgun and I, I, I'm dead. My character died like in the first session we ever played. It's very, very realistic. Uh, I don't know how combat's going to really work, you know, if and when we get into it because it seems like it's super fluid but i'm like are, are people do people just die left and right it sounds like they just die left and right yeah i kind of got that vibe this is the first core rule book i ever so uh, of the you know however many core rule books i've read <laughs> of tabletop role playing games you have many times troy said come to the table with a backup i've never seen that in a book and it's in the book yeah. Like in the rule section, it says, we recommend that you always bring an alternate character to every session because death is so fast in this game. And so without warning, uh, and it's cool because it seems very, very realistic the way that it works from what I've yeah. seen in terms of like, if you get crit, it's like a mortal injury and that's what it is. It's, it debilitates you to the point where you basically can barely fight on, uh, if you take one crit. So it's really neat. 
There's a so real we, cool uh, function of this. Like when you roll damage, if you roll box cars, like it's it's usually D6 for damage. So you start at like some, maybe some weapons do 1D6, but usually anywhere from 2D6 to 5D6. If you ever roll two sixes, you deal a critical wound to the person you're attacking. And that can be anything from a collapsed lung to like, they just lost their leg or something like the really, really intense stuff that you can have to like, like between combats, you got to try to patch up to see if you can continue on for the rest of the day. Otherwise, you have to deal with whatever that particular critical effect is for the rest of your day until you can get to a hospital or a ripper doc or somebody that can fix you. It's it's screwed up. So you like by the end of this, you might not die, but you might be like missing a hand and have a collapsed <laughs> lung and brain damage. It's severely <laughs> maimed. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it should be i think that's how it should be combat should be terrifying it should mess you up especially if everyone's like shooting laser guided automatic weapons all over the place like that's yeah it's really somebody could get hurt doing that <laughs> the one thing i wish i had more time for today i, I wanted to send yeah. each of you a the uh like stock backup character or like what is, what is the word i'm looking for the pre-gen uh for mm. each class just so you'd have it so that when someone dies you'd be like just play this character and call him somebody else um, so we can just uh, <laughs> bring a backup guy just a just a, just a regular i mean it, it could be anybody like or we just say like it ron yolo spot. doesn't make it out of this bar tonight he doesn't make right. it out of ignition because of x y or z right. we're not going to play an hour and a half without you I'm going to have to like email you during this session. Like, here's another nomad. Just call him uh, John Bolo. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Let's uh, figure out how we're going to meet John Bolo before you got to get on that train that's running parallel to the hammerhead tomorrow night. Uh, I'm a little worried that that could happen, but yeah, uh, that's out there. That's out there. Um, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited to jump in. And uh, you know who else is excited is our Talsorian Games, who hooked, it, uh, hooked us up with more giveaways for this what? week. More so generous, giveaways. So generous. Uh, and next were, week yeah, as well. But Joe. Was, they were in the chat last week. They were hanging out live. Uh, it was great. And so thank you guys so much for participating. They were very excited. Obviously, Twitch front page and everything. And so they were like, go get them next week. Uh, so here's some more giveaways. So once again, this week, we are giving away... Two items. Two Ooh. items to one person, one item to another person. Two total giveaways. We're giving away a hard copy of the core rule book. Bam. I've got one right here. The oh, same boom. book Troy has had his head in all day. Uh, we're giving away one of these plus a PDF to one winner. Uh, and then another winner is going to get a PDF of, of the rule book. And uh, in order to enter, you're going to have to click a link in chat. Brennan, our community manager, is here. He is going to drop a link in chat. Keep an eye out for it. Uh, we'll do it multiple times throughout the night. So, Click on the link there um, and and you'll get taken to a page where you can enter uh, to to win this this drawing and we'll announce it in chat by the end of the night. So pay attention in chat and we'll get to it, you know, right right at the end. We'll announce the uh, the usernames of the winners and then, you know, whoever is uh, whoever won the hardcover will email you to get your address and stuff like that. Um yeah, but yeah, huge thanks to Artelsorian Games and and uh, for supporting us and making this incredible game that we get to play. And then also, by the way, just wanted to remind you, anybody who's here now that wants to set aside time next week, next week's even bigger. We're giving away the hardcover rulebook. The farm. We're giving away another PDF, and we are giving away the farm. I say we're giving away. Artelsorian is generously donating their entire library of work in digital form over 30 books $500 plus value Whoa. they're giving it away to one winner next week for the finale oh, dude that's uh, crazy there's a lot of stuff in there I think they do the they do the Witcher RPG I think mm -hmm. and a no bunch way. of shit like that is I might just tune in for that. You <laughs> <laughs> should join next week. Uh, I might, so seriously, I might pop if you... by the chad next week. <laughs> just leave <laughs> my blocks blank. Yeah. Who's Troy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Roy Trevally in the chat? <laughs> Troy A. Lavalster. Uh, <laughs> Me with the mustard. Hello. I'm on uh, my way to find a new hardcover. <laughs> my name is Troy Incognito. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, keep an eye in chat. We'll post it, link, uh, and then you can enter and then join us next week for an even bigger uh, series of giveaways. Thanks again to RTG. We appreciate oh. you guys and can't wait to do more work with you. So awesome. So awesome. It's just good to make new gaming friends who are 
really, really talented. This is a, a great <laughs> yeah. system. And also a big shout out to, oh, we got a lot of shout outs here, to Twitch for giving us front page last week. That was yeah. huge. Yes. We had the largest number the of uh, cons- people watching this. The number of eyeballs that like just click for a second was the most we've ever had. But then we had almost 10,000 people watching concurrently uh, and thousands more throughout the night. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully some of you came back this week. If you're new to what we do, um, please continue watching. Uh, don't change that dial. Uh, and check out Glass Network.com. We do a lot of different shows. This is one of our shows. This is one of our new shows, New Game Who Dis. Uh, after Cyberpunk Red, we're going to be playing a new game. In fact, we're going to announce that game on next week's episode, what we're going to be playing. Oh, um, man. But in addition to that, we do podcasts for of Pathfinder, and we've got Patreon exclusive podcasts. We do other live streams. We have a, a Androids and Aliens Starfinder show, which streams right here on this twi- ch- Twitch channel on Friday nights at 8 p.m. Please check out uh, glassscannonetwork.com. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. I need live tour. I don't forget we have a live tour. We do a live tour we around the country when, when the before, world was normal. Before in the before times, the as before they say, times. before times, the long, long before, ago, before. in the before times, and I. We have gotten some demand to get out there to Honolulu, Francis. I'm not going to lie. Hey, There's been some clamoring hey, to get out there. Me, we have <laughs> a very <laughs> solid, Which island solid is it, community though? of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Which <laughs> island, though, are you on? I don't understand. Hey, Troy? Which I island was that? <laughs> <laughs> Troy, you want to take this one for me? You know who would love to go to Hawaii? Our in-house producer, Mr. Grant Berger. Grant! Hey! Hey, hey, everybody! How are y'all doing tonight? I like to think that if I were playing in this game, my role would be of media. I think it's just appropriate. (laughs) Media, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dude, I need to call you in tonight when YOLO goes down. Listen, I'm just going to play Grant Berger, media cyberpunk. I'll be there. I'll win the day. uh, And I'm hair ready, so call me whenever you want. <laughs> Grant, your uh, your work last week was lauded throughout the community. Uh, the audio was great. The the stuff we were doing with the uh, with the uh, rule book was awesome. So kudos to you. You deserve all the credit in the world. I hope you're having fun back there. I'm just Super glad crazy. everyone's having fun. Love you, Nash. Love you, Nash. Well, we should put Grant to work right off the top of the show. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> by showing the world. Portraits of our new characters. Oh my god. Oh, god. I'm so excited. When have I... we ever done this before? A one week turnaround. One, one week, week turnaround. turnaround. Well, this I is... have been making some new friends on the old internet, some of which I can't talk about because I'm married. No, that's not funny. <laughs> uh, no, I have been making some new friends, and one uh, is a guy by the name of, I'm going to give you his Twitter handle. It's at Sean Makes. S H A U N Makes. Don't bother him because I got a lot of work planned for him, but <laughs> you might reach out and be like, Sean, when, you're, when Troy's done throwing work at you, you mind if I get a character portrait? I've been talking with Sean and this dude is a superstar and I said to him do you think you could make portraits with like a crazy fast turnaround by the end of the stream last week I got an email what we finished the stream at like 10 30 when I say I don't think it was 11 o'clock I already had sketches of these characters and he worked on them all week and sent me the finals yesterday you want to see? Uh, you want to see the yes. fruit his, no, his labors yes. 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 who should we right start now. with I feel yes. like we should start with old Lemmy Moto Overdrive. Moto Lemmy Overclock. Lemmy Moto Overdrive. It's John. It's like, no, you know, like, whatever you like. It's Wait, what is it? It's I'm Moto Lemmy Overclock. Moto Lemmy Overclock. Moto Lemmy Overclock has got your back. That's our corporate motto. <laughs> I'm, glad I I have that. An, I'm glad I have an overclock processor and the new uh, rig we're running these streams from because look at this artwork. Oh my <laughs> God. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, I mean, man. Looking at Skid <laughs> right now me. In, in cosplay and then looking at the artwork. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's it's really good. Good. <laughs> I've never been happier in my life. This is incredible. <laughs> Just got like the Motley Crue t-shirt under there. It was like without right. actually not violating really any Crue. copyright. Not really. <laughs> no, because it's you Cotley don't Maru. want to get in trouble. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, that is just spectacular. I mean, it looks yeah. exactly like how you look right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds yeah. cybernetic hand. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, I wish. We should probably check out uh, Jade. This one is... Really spot on, uh, and the colors and everything. This is just fantastic. Oh. Let's see Jade Grant. Look at that! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god! god. I just the nails 
The nails are everything. And that's, <laughs> <It> <laughs> that's honestly exactly how I pictured like the hair, like twinkles that kind of go down and. <sighs> what is that hair called? Techie? I'm way too attached to her. She can't die. Like, I know. I feel bad. <laughs> And I love the key card too. It's like, boop, boop. Yeah, you know like, I mean? yeah. Or she's passing it card. off to, or she's passing it off to Quake to get in the back door for a little <laughs> back door <laughs> Quake. Here you, go. You, didn't, you didn't get this from me. You didn't get it. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. <laughs> love Speaking it. of Quake, let's see, uh, let's see old Quake up there. Oh, come on, Quake Master. Oh my God. Show. It's so much. Oh, look at so that. Cool. <laughs> look at the size of that hacker. <laughs> I have to say. That blue beard, beard, dude, the blue beard. My dream is to be able to grow a beard and be able to dye it colors <laughs> like that. That color. That oh, so, so glad sick. for these fantasy games. Look at the nose ring, the little stud right through the middle. <laughs> He's got two nose rings. He doubled down on it. I love it. Awesome. It really is great. Oh, oh, it's just he's so, so big. Cool. <laughs> he kind of I, when I, he does look Jack. It does. It kind of looks like Joe, which I like. There's a bit of Joe in there, unless I'm crazy. Don't you see it? I see it definitely in the yeah. shoulders and neck area. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mostly in the. Yeah, the my from, yeah. Yeah. Definitely get the Me same Joe. fitness habits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the same <laughs> regimen. Uh, oh, to yeah. get those. Look, Francis, belts. just because you look fucking fantastic over there doesn't mean <laughs> oh you have to give God. me the business. Look at that black <laughs> shirt. Look <laughs> good, man. He's so he looks sick. good. He's so uh, sick. I love the mohawk, too. That is exactly yeah. what I wanted to see. That bike light up <laughs> mohawk. That's so awesome. Speaking so of mohawks, awesome. how about we take a peek at old Ron Yolo? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my God! Look at that oh, guy. Man. He looks like so he should sick. be on Cowboy Bebop. Yes, exactly. That's that was my hope. That was my dream. I like that his hair seems to have a cybernetic implant in it somehow. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the tech hair. That's the tech hair. Okay, the, I like the, it. Yeah, I can change colors. It's good. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ron Yolo. You have a lot going on in your eyes too. It's like yeah. uh, something else happening in the iris. I really dig it. It's awesome. There is, He's got yeah, sensitive I, eyes. <laughs> that nomad vision. That no, nomad <laughs> vision. Thousand yard stare. Yeah. <laughs> nomad. That's uh, you have to pay for that extra <laughs> the nomad vision. Um, and so there they are. But let's be honest, that's not the entire crew because thanks to uh, Kate's exec uh, role, there's. One more character who's uh, joined the fray. Oh Folks, I'd like to introduce you to a late addition to the party, Mr. Kevin Ragbone, everybody. Yeah. I said I want him to wear a black suit, a hot pink shirt, and I want him to look like Donnie Yen. <laughs> Mission accomplished there. Yeah. And you also serious. did say on the stream that it, it had his initials on his suit. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's one of those improvised things that just made its way into the art. Uh, Phenomenal. Hold Kevin Ragbone. Don't 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 leave home without him. He is your bodyguard. <laughs> Well, well, there done. they are. You guys well got done, your own Sean portraits makes. for these characters. Sean this makes. So cool. Thank you, buddy. Crazy fast turnaround. Now you can picture them. I want to make an anime of the show now that we can see these characters. The difference is, if this was a uh, serialized weekly anime, you'd be rolling up new characters every three episodes. But I want to see that anime. I want to see that show. Where's that show on Cartoon Network? Do you ever watch Cartoon Network after 12 a.m.? There's a lot of ridiculous <laughs> stuff on there. I think this would kill. This would kill. <laughs> totally agree. A real serialized story where characters just fucking die every couple weeks and you bring in yeah. a new one that looks as cool as Ron Yolo every few weeks. Oh, Come on, God. man. Come That's on, good. Cartoon Network. I know one of you are watching out there. You're listening. Anyways. <laughs> guys want to play some Cyberpunk Red? Hell yeah. yeah. Yes, oh, <laughs> Guess we should. God. Guess we should. We rolled up these characters. We, uh, we had a little bit of a, uh, an intro scene where we see all four of you enter this bar on the streets of Night City. And then the point of that walk up was to just really instill upon you what a horrible place this is, especially in and around the combat zone. There are bodies in the gutter. It is kill or be killed. Um, there is occasionally blood rain because of the nuclear fallout from 20 years ago. I mean, it's a horrible place and you guys are just doing your best like everybody else to try and survive. And part of that is taking gigs where you can. Finding scores and making your bones to, to stay alive and, and to kind of not only just keep up with the Joneses, but like kill the Joneses, take all their stuff and be, the, be better Joneses than they could ever be. <laughs> the best Joneses. 
Now, I made a, a huge error last week that I'm about to correct. Big error in the uh, PC's favor. Oh. Uh-oh. You come to Ignition to meet Hornet, a very well-known fixer. When I said that, even Skid was like, oh, I know that fixer. Uh, he is, that's how well-known he is. He's known to people that just know this universe. Uh, I should say, by the way, that, uh, so delving into the core rulebook after the fact, <laughs> Hornet is quoted many times in the core rulebook. Yeah, yeah, he's a big part in, of like, the, the Flair. Flair he's just, it's a Hornet, and I was like, Hornet said that? <laughs> well, I know yeah, Hornet. Said that. <laughs> the, yeah. Do you mean my buddy Horn? I know Horn? him. I know, I, know Hornet? I know him. I know him. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hornet's a major player. And here's the thing. You guys aren't. You're up and comers. Obviously, Jade works for a big company. What's the name of your company again, Jade? Omega. And she works in Omega Brain. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. She's an R&D awesome. at Omega, the brain arm of Omega. And they're pretty much pure evil, right? Yes. Yeah, very, is very, that like, very, is that neural networks? Is that programming? What is Omega Brain? Well, they're in like the electronics and um, robotics like sector. And I kind of oh. wanted a riff on, you know, Google Brain. That's where all the smart people oh, work. Right. So I'm like, oh, she works in the smart people area. So nice. Omega Brain. Nice. What if they oh, used all their smarts for evil? Oh, wait, that yeah. is Google. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she's, she's a little bit of a player, but she's still slumming it with you guys because this is how well this is what you got to do you got to work three or four jobs if you're living in night city so get an opportunity to do a gig with hornet is a big deal and so not only are you going to get probably a bigger payday than you normally get if you do well maybe it will lead to more jobs with this very well-known fixer it was your fixer that map. you guys yeah exactly put you on the map of night city yeah. it was your yeah. fixer that you normally work with that introduced you to Hornet. So we assume that you've been doing well, uh, maybe not together. We're going to establish that tonight. How, how many of you guys worked together before? Is this your first time or not? Now, the mistake that I made is Hornet said he would give you 2,000 uh, Euro bucks, 2,000 eddies for the job. And then Kate, you, as Jade said, 2,000 each. I'm sorry. No, that's for the whole crew. You should know that, Jade. It is 2,000 eddies oh, each. Man. Yeah. Oh, man. Wow. She's smart. She knows. Kate oh, read yeah. the adventure? This is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Kate knew the economy better than I did. And so yeah. you were like, when I, I thought 2,000 was like huge. You kidding me? 500 each? But Kate knew me. They're like, that's garbage. Well, my, my lifestyle starting. is 600. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's why all she's right. We can't all be success. <laughs> Poor Gotta Ron, maintain my life kibble. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll take that Actually, 2,000, damn it. Everyone but uh, Jade is eating uh, a steady diet of kibble, trademark, the uh, the food supplement that is given out for the poorest of the poor in Night City. Uh, but yes, the job is actually 2,000 eddies each. And nice. the job, nice. while anything but simple, is ultimately simple. Smash and grab. He wants you to... It's a train heist, basically. He has a train that's going to be running parallel to another train that you need to get on, steal some shit, get back on his train. Get paid. That's the he job. sounds simple. <laughs> the that, backdrop of all of this is a major gang war between the Red Chrome Legion and the Iron Sights. They've been fighting for a long time, came to a head the other night. Why did it come to a head? Because the Red Chrome Legion stole something very intense, secretive from the Iron Sights. And now they have it on a train, a train that they hijacked from Militech, which was a big player back in the day, and they're making their way back up. This is a big military uh, corporation. They've hijacked that train. They have that cargo from the Iron Sights on that train, and they're taking it to the outskirts of Night City to try and uh, hook up with their tech who can break in to these DNA-encoded locks on that cargo. Hornet says, blah, 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 blah. I want that cargo. My guy needs that cargo. And if you get it, 2,000 eddies each. Last thing he says to you is like, just, this is all going to go down tomorrow night. I've got a train. There's going to be 75 minutes when those trains run parallel. That's how much time you're going to have to get on that train. Try and keep a low profile between now and then. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, damn. Damn. damn it, Moto. Bouncer comes over to uh, Moto and it's like, yeah. uh, this angry guy outside. So his name is Uncle Dan. Unbelievable. <laughs> so yeah. Hornet just kind of <laughs> leans over and looks at you, Moto, and it's like, who's Uncle Dan? <laughs> uh, listen, uh, 
I don't want to get the rest of you involved in this. Uncle Dan is... Well, let me set the stage here. He was uh, colloquially known as uh, the violentest man in Glasgow. Which, uh, as you might be able to guess, this is against some pretty stiff competition. <laughs> and uh, not only that, but he was my... He was my stepfather, my abusive stepfather for about 10 years. I was so glad to be rid of him when I came here. And to hear that he's, to hear that he's here now is fucking nightmare come true. So I don't want to involve any of you. This doesn't, doesn't involve you. But things are about to get bad. I'll tell you that much. Well, you better uh, deal with it then. But don't make a big show out of it. Oh, Ray, no, if it's up to me. But you don't know this man. You don't know Uncle Dan. <laughs> and Lemmy gets up and he checks under his jacket. He's got this this uh, compact uh, cavalry style shotgun under his jacket, checks it, grabs it, and makes for the door. You make for the door. And the rest of you just watch let me walk away and Hornet kind of rubs his chin like, what did I get myself into? Did my guy recommend the right people or not? I hope this goes well. These are thoughts running through his head. Let me walk outside. And remember, you had to walk down the steps. I think I said like an East Village bar, down the steps into ignition. Just so like an Akira. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you come out and you walk up the steps. And you're looking around and the bouncer's standing there and you get to the top of the steps and you see about 20 meters away, a young guy, about your age. And he's dressed very similarly to you in many ways. Different style, but similar, similar build, similar look, kind of a copycat. And he's sitting on a gyro bike, smoking a cigarette. And he takes a cigarette and you just kind of see the light of the the last puff of the butt as he puts it out and stamps it. Even though it's dark and he's a bit away, you recognize him immediately. You recognize him just from the way he smokes. And it is not Uncle Dan. And he yells out, he's like, Hello, Moto! I knew you wouldn't come out to see me, but you'd certainly come running if you think it was your old Uncle Dan. But no, he's probably lying in a gutter on the streets of Glasgow, sleeping one off, a nurse and a stiff punch to the jaw. I didn't think too much when you came over here, but rumor has it you've been taking a couple jobs lately that would usually go to me. Why anyone would want to go slumming with your inferior tech skills is beyond me. But either way, you're taking food out of my mouth. And that doesn't sit well with your old pal, Scotty. The name Archie Duhan means something here in Night City. And I intend to keep it that way. I'll be sure to send a letter to your ma, though, to let her know you died. The failure she always knew you'd turn out to be. Oh, darling! Why don't you light him up, won't you? And he calls out, and suddenly this woman that looks like more machine than human steps out from beside a, a behind like a parked car on the street. <clears throat> the car is just blown out, it hasn't been used in a long time. And she starts walking towards you, and as she does, she whips a flamethrower off of her back. Oh, oh, Jesus. This is, this is my new Hell. friend. Her name's Sister Christian. <laughs> now I paid good money for her moto. Treat her nice. He revs up his bike and he's like, Sayonara, Lemmy. You won't be missed. And with that, Archie Scotty Doohan takes off into the night on his gyro bike. The bouncer is like, oh, shit. Listen, you kill him if you want, but don't mess up the front of this bar. And he dives back in the bar. Roll for initiative. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh, all of no. us are just him. Well, here's what inside. happens is, as this is going on, you guys are waiting, wondering, is is everything is all going, right? Seems down? like seems like Lenny had this under control. Ba, ba, ba. And then you hear the bouncer come in, slam the door behind you, and goes, nobody go outside. All of you can roll for initiative. Uh, and initiative oh in this boy. game, you know, works very similar to our the game we're more familiar with, uh, or some of us are more familiar with. Pathfinder, you roll your your reflex 
Uh, skill plus a d10. Okay. See how fast your reflexes are to react to something like this. Right. And yes, this will include Kevin Ragbone. Uh, <laughs> when I roll old Ragbone's numbers here. Uh, Kev. Fucking oh, Kev. Archie, do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, natural one for old Ragbone. Ragbone's gonna have a nine, though. He's got quick reflexes. Uh, uh, what about Moto? Uh, natural one for me, too. Uh, so that would be a seven total. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, what about Ron Yolo? I rolled a three. That gets me to a nine. Three gets you to a nine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jade? Mm-hmm. Um, I was finishing up sending some emails on my agent. Uh, I got a two. You guys, uh, <laughs> I have a nine. <laughs> you do have a nine. Wow, a lot of nines. Uh, Quake? Quake was sitting there thinking the second he said this, Uncle Dan came a long way to see him. He's like, I don't like the sound of this. Traveling from Glasgow, that ain't something you do without something really at stake. There's going to be some danger. <laughs> and he was ready to jump. Natural eight. <laughs> For a oh. 15. Ooh. Yeah. 15. Let's do this. All right, now here's what I need. I need uh, YOLO and Jade and Ragbone to re-roll. Oh. Oh, wow. We got to re-roll. On the tie. Oh. Natural one. Oh, come on. Oh, YOLO. <laughs> YOLO, no, no. Uh, what'd you get, YOLO? I, I got a one. A one, no, but with your reflex oh, bonus. Oh, with the reflex. Oh, seven. Seven, all right. So Wait, seven am total. I adding it to the, am I adding to the prior? Ad, oh, then I'm at a ten. If I'm adding to the No, nope, you're just roll. taking your reflex and adding one to it for oh, the super okay. roll. Okay, yeah, then I'm at a seven. You're at a seven. Okay, and yeah. then Jade? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, this is really just to see who goes first between the two of you. Okay. Um, all right, looks like the stage is set. So, Quake, I'm going to say you hear the bouncer come in, and he says, do not go out there. What do you do? We're doing this all theater of the mind. He immediately pushes back from the table, and it's like, boom, and starts barreling his way out there, because he's like, I'm not losing this opportunity to strike at this clan. Uh, so he's going to head to the door fast. All right, what is your move stat? Uh, seven. Seven, okay. So am I correct in that you can move 14 boxes? Is it twice your 14 move? 14 squares, yeah. Or is it six squares in each square? Because each square is two meters. Yeah, so it's- you can move 14 yards or seven squares. Seven squares, okay. So you can move seven squares. I will say that you can get all the way up to the door and open it. And so you are right at the bottom of the stairs. Because your okay, table so he is in the back Moto of the bar. at the top of the stairs, but doesn't see... The, uh, the the flame flame throwing wielding. cyber wielding yeah so, okay. he doesn't see Sister Christian Sister uh, Christian <laughs> <laughs> what's going on uh, calls up the stairs yeah uh, what do you say Lemmy uh, this bastard Archie Scotty doing he set this monster on me he's the worst he's the absolute fucking worst I hate him so much <laughs> <laughs> get back inside. Jade, and he pulls out up. his gun because he can do that as part of moving as well. That's right. You can pull out your gun so just he like he pulls out his very heavy pistol and he's holding open the door like, come back inside. And the bouncer's like, oh, da, da, da. Uh, and he's Jade, pointing you, the gun up the steps. You look up from your agent. Uh, agent is like uh, basically the cyberpunk red of a uh, equivalent of a cell phone, but a lot cooler. You look up from your agent and you see the table has been pushed out of the way and Quake has bolted towards the door. What do you do? I press send on my email. And <laughs> That's one I, action. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, I have, um, I have a move of six, so I imagine I'm going to follow because okay. I'm nothing without my team. Teamwork is my thing. Of course. That's I'm going right. to go help. Um, so I end up, I imagine, right behind you. And okay. if I can pull out my gun, I will. But if you want to count me for the email, that's no, fine. No, I get no, it. no, that's okay. going to be a free action. Uh, now, let me ask you this, though. As you get up, do you say anything to Kevin Ragbone? <laughs> Let's go. <Yeah>. Ragbone <laughs> nods and moves and pulls out a pistol as well on his way. So Ragbone and Jade just come right up behind. They're like uh, one space behind Quake with the door open, Lemmy up top. 
It is now Sister Christian's turn. Sister oh, Christian no. has a flamethrower. Flamethrower doesn't mess around. It's like a sh- it has shotgun incendiary, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, shells inside of it. So it can kind of do a spray effect. If she gets close enough to you, she can mess a lot of you up. But she's got a big heavy weapon. And she's a little bit slow. So she takes two moves towards you. And she is, uh, let's see, she was 20 meters away. So now she is eight meters away from you, Lemmy. Double move. She basically runs. I think that's what it's called when you uh, take an action to move again. You're, she runs to from 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 from. This is like a fallout enemy. Yeah. <laughs> With this flamethrower, you see it like licking flames off the end of it. I don't uh, want this to happen. No, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad news. I don't know why. Uh, my old Scotty wants to kill you, but this isn't yeah. just to send a message. What kind this of a is, god would let this happen? <laughs> this is to burn you alive and your friends. Uh, it is Ron Yolo's turn. Poor Moto has to go last, even though he was the first to see this. Ron, you see Quake get up, push the table out of the way and run. Jade and Ragbone follow in uh, close pursuit. What do you do? Allons-y. I pull out my <laughs> weapon and my pistol. I'm ready to fight for my friends. Let me... <laughs> Is this Ron Yolo? I'm going for it. Well done, Francis. <laughs> well well course, done, uh, buddy. What the hell, Ron Yolo? Viva Moto! Viva Moto! Hello, Moto. So you just <laughs> bolt over there. What's your move uh, yes. stat? Uh, my move stat is five. Five. Okay, so you can't actually get all the way over there. I'm going to say you have to stand up and then move over there. Uh, okay. Yeah, and so you're you're about a, a step behind where Jade and Ragbone are, which is fine. It's, a, okay. it's not a huge doorway. You're kind of bottlenecked there, which okay. is great when you're facing an enemy with a flamethrower. You definitely want to bunch all together uh, by right. the doorway. Um, <laughs> it is Moto's turn. Moto, you are eight meters away, four squares away from this woman. What do you do? Is there any cover that I could conceivably get behind? Yeah, let me give a little chance roll here and see what we got. Yeah, I would say that uh, to your left is a, a hollowed out uh, old Porsche, Porsche 911. Oh, uh, oh yeah. classic. Oh, that's a tall, that's a classic car. It's a yeah, shame you could, to see uh, it in that. And then to your right, there's a, a like a, an open dumpster. Okay. Lemmy's gonna jump in the dumpster. Jump in the dumpster. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it, no, I cannot see. I, I cannot stand the thought of getting a classic chassis like that scorched. So he jumps into the dumpster, pulls out his shotgun as he jumps in. And can he get a shot off too? Yeah, yeah, that? the dumpster was close enough that you can uh, move. You pulled out the shotgun while you were moving. I'm gonna say oh. the jump is more of a flavor jump and you get your ax in to shoot. Now, what's the Very rate of fire move. of the shotgun? It's just one, right? Move. Yeah. Okay, so. This is how it's going to work. I'm going to say that you're eight meters away, and uh, this is where charts really come into play here. There's, there's a couple different ways you can do ranged attacks. You can do it uh, as an opposed roll, where you roll your reflex plus whatever weapon you're using plus a d10 against my evasion plus my reflex. And then, or you can just do it based on the uh, how far you are away and what weapon is. And that's I'm sorry, the, can, I, can I maybe correct that? You might be please. right, but I think... You can't use evade, or you can't evade a like a, a bullet basically, uh, unless you have an eight dex. That's so true. A defender has to have an eight, a reflex eight or yeah, higher. Yeah, that's for melee, I think normally. Evasion. You can attempt to dodge <clears throat> if you have a reflex eight or higher on a ranged attack instead of using uh, the range table to determine the DV. Yeah, so I don't think it's like a choice, like, oh, GM, like, whatever you want to do. I think it's if the PC wants to evade, they can, but they have to have a really high reflex to do it. That's right. I worded that incorrectly. It isn't a choice. Um, but I think you, at least having the choice, I kind of like using, at least it's easier for me as a GM to use the uh, the DV table based on how far you are away. Yeah, but I guess yeah, if you're facing sure. an enemy that has crazy reflexes, then I'm going to lean on throwing it to chance so you're using a shotgun um and so this table says that it's going to be dv 15 for 15. 7 to 12 yards away yeah it's kind of a tough roll okay. uh, but if you that hit it you hit roll. her okay so he cocks his uh war uh compact shotgun <laughs> boom natural six that is a hit 
Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. 16 can I also that point something out hit. that's really cool uh, rules Please. of this game as opposed to what we're used to in Pathfinder is that Moto can make this shot as he's running into the dumpster that's so he can true. jump shoot in the air and then fall in the dumpster like, I'll do that I will have done yeah, that you don't have to that's... complete your move to, to do your other action you can that's do it true. in between uh, your move I don't want to overload you guys or the chat with how cool this is, but, <laughs> but I'm going to try anyways. You can you can move, attack, move. You can attack, move, move. You can do whatever you want. If you have a weapon that has a rate of fire of two, and let's say you have two weapons that have a rate of fire of two, you can move, attack, move, attack with two different weapons. Meaning, I think the example they use in the book is like you can move, peek around a corner, shoot your shotgun at a dude, hit him at the face, continue <laughs> running at him, and then smash him in the face with your uh, like hand axe. Uh, oh. If both of those weapons have a rate of fire of two, you can use them as a combo, move attack, move attack, all in one round. Uh, it's supposed yeah. to be very fluid. I'm interested to see how it all uh, plays they mentioned, out. They mentioned John Woo movies a few times, yeah. and yeah. that's very John much John what it's, what it's so supposed to be like. Yes. Oh, as no. you jump into the dumpster, doves come flying out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chow Young Fat just smokes a cigarette in the background. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is so this sick. paint cans in that dumpster? No! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that is the end of round one. Now, oh, would you, oh, no, you care to damage. know how much damage. damage I did? Please. Oh, yeah. 17 points of damage. Ooh, okay. Beautiful. Wow. Sounds okay. like a lot. <laughs> so, she has... And he shouts armor. out. He shouts out from the dumpster. says, Sister Christian, oh, your time has come. <laughs> <laughs> that cuts into her actual AP. So, she's wearing armor, just like all of you are wearing armor. I won't say what the uh, stopping power of that armor is, but you rolled, what, 17 damage? Mm -hmm. All right. So, I let's say the stopping power is 10. It's not. I then would take seven hit points of damage. So, I minus that from her total hit points, but then my armor is now a bladed because that damage got through to my actual HP, if the stopping power was 10, it now goes down to 9. So, either way, her stopping power of her armor goes down, and you've got your HP. There it's a little in, chunky, but this is going to be easier. is the crunch. Uh, it's like it's as if every time your AC got beat, you have to lower your AC by 1 in that one combat. You know what I mean? It... it it, it's, it makes for chunk, but it, to me, it's more realistic. It's like, yeah, as the kind of way more realistic. You hard, your, your, your armor gets, like, you know, chunked away. Yeah, it during the all feel, sense in the you world. You still feel and it. I, you yeah, still I feel like, it. And I like, too, that your, your abilities suffer as you get more and more hurt, which mm -hmm. is not a thing in, like, Pathfinder or most of the other games that we play. Yes. This is way more realistic, and I love that. Yeah, Pathfinder has that in the Unchained thing, which is something we've really never delved into with, uh, what is it called, Joe? Like, wound, wounding, and... Uh, yeah, I don't remember. You they also do about. armor as DR. So, like, instead of having mm -hmm. a higher AC, it acts as DR, which is exactly what this is. Yeah. Uh, and But, yeah, what I like about this is if your armor blocks the shot straight up, like, or if your damage doesn't get through... The, what did you call it, Troy? What's it called? Stopping power. The stopping power. It doesn't lower the stopping power by one. Yeah. So, like, it only it lowers it by it one holds. if you break through the armor and deal actual damage. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, what Skid was saying is, like, once you get to half of your HP, you're seriously wounded, and you take a minus two penalty to all your attacks. Once you go under your HP, you're mortally wounded, and seconds away from death, you take a ton of negatives, and someone needs to come and save you. And also, it's up to a die roll, or you just fucking die. But anyways, <laughs> you did get through. However, Moto is now in a dumpster that she could possibly get to on her next turn, drop a flamethrower into and light that shit up. Let's go to round two, and it is Quake's turn. Quake, you're at the bottom of the stairs. I'm going to say you're uh, four meters away from the top of the stairs. Uh, okay. He is going to... Uh, he's going to... I would like to move up slowly and use stealth so okay. i want to basically see if i can see what's out there before they see me okay does that okay. make sense so yeah, i figure yeah. that's a stealth skill roll which is uh you, you could do a skill as an action 
Okay, so that's going to be a stealth uh, opposed against her perception to see if she right. actually sees perception you. Perception plus 1d10. And Ty goes to the defender. All right, so I will roll uh, my perception. And I'll even tell you what the DV is. Uh, yes. I rolled a natty 10, so that is uh, 19. Oh. Yeah. You know, I rolled, a, I rolled a d20. I was like, dude, natty 19, I think I got you. <laughs> I think I All got habits die hard. I don't know why you're so excited. I got a 19. <laughs> well, I rolled an actual 19. So what are you going to do? Uh, okay, I, I got a 14 on the perception. Okay, so he just creeps up. And now, picture it up the stairs, right? So now his eyes are just over the level of the ground. Yeah. But she doesn't see him yet. He saw that Lemmy ran into a dumpster, and now he sees the flamethrower. And he's like... Moto's gotta die. He's just gonna turn around and leave. No, no, no. Throws an incendiary grenade into the dumpster. That is, uh, yeah, he throws a grenade into the dumpster and then runs inside. Why did you do that? I love you quick. You're the best. Why'd you do that? Uh, No, he takes one look at her and he's just like, I can see all this cyberware all over this. I hate her. He just hates her on, on first sight because he hates literally everyone on first sight. That's right. You hate everyone. That's uh, You're playing your character. Yeah. So he's, that's it. That's his action. That's all he can do. Wait. So the stealth was the standard. I feel like by the rules, that's, that's using a skill is an action. Yep. Then that is your action. So you moved up to the top of the stairs. I feel like I got great benefit out of it because she's not going to fire at me this round. So, but I could fire at her next round pretty easily. Right, right, yeah. No, so imagine her, her attention is just solely on the dumpster, and you see her, but man, she's going to get a good shot off on old Lemmy. Uh, oh. It is Jade's turn. Jade, you are a step behind Quake. You see Quake kind of creep up to the top of the stairs. Quake, do you, like, look back at her and give her, like, the lowdown? Quake? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. I look back, and I'm like, move slow, flamethrower. He says under his Jade? breath. All right. I let Ragbone know. I don't want him to get hurt. Um, I'm wondering, since you're saying I have to go upstairs, is there a way for me to, like, kind of go up the stairs but still be under cover of, like, where, like, the wall of the stairs is? I'm imagining it's, like, coming out onto the street and there's, like, a wall so I can go up, sort of, and, like, pew! And then- yeah, if you hug the right <laughs> side, if she were to flame throw down... Uh, she might still get you. It's pretty open, but like you, if you hug the right side, uh, you've got a good chance of not uh, getting her attention. Yeah, I want to like hug the wall, be able to get a shot at her, and then duck right back down again. Okay, so you're going to kind of move up, fire one off, and then finish your move action by hunkering back down. Okay, yeah, I want to say you can totally get cover uh, by doing that. Uh, all right, so roll to attack. What kind of weapon do you have? A heavy pistol? Heavy pistol. All right, so it's going to be handguns plus reflex plus a D10. And you are range-wise. My God, I've got so many windows open for a game that I just learned today. Uh, It's going to be DV15. Okay. It's a high DV. No problem. I got a 20. Oh, whoa, Jade. Now, here's a cool thing. If you roll a 10... You get to roll again and add that to your check. If you roll a one, you roll that again and subtract it from your check. It's like their crit and fumble system. And then if you ever roll damage and roll two sixes, let me know. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So was it, could I have re-rolled my stealth? What did you roll on your stealth? A 10. I rolled a natural 10. Oh, then yes, you roll another d10 and add that to yourself. I don't think it would have mattered anyway, but yeah. It wouldn't, but I mean, it, just imagine you're even stealthier than you. Uh, even she has stealthy. no idea that you're there. <laughs> All she sees is, is Jade's tech hair come up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, a right, so, um, Jade, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. So I get 3d6. A Ooh. 6. Oh, oh nice. 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 A 5. Give me, give me another 6. Oh, yes. And a 2. Oh, God. So, 13. 13 points of damage will also ablate her yeah. armor. Ablate. Ablate. And a uh, couple little points will sneak through. All right. Guys have done some damage. Let's uh, let's check in with the team. You guys enjoying combat so far for Cyberpunk Red? Yeah. 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 It's kind of uh, yeah. smooth. It's kind of smooth. I'm watching on the edge of my seat right now. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is how, like, this is gunplay... This is what gunplay should feel like. This is what it should feel like. Droid. Yes. Uh, all right, well, also, it's Kevin... I gotta Good. tell y'all about fucking Archie doing. 
once right. once Archie. we're done with this. No, tell us right Guys, now about Archie doing because maybe they don't fully understand about this asshole. Right, look, you've got to understand. Names, like, I, got look, I grew up with this man. Like uh, it's a boyhood like rivals in uh, in Glasgow, right? And so he was always copying me. Like he would everything that I would do. Like he would do it himself just to prove how easy it was. So, like, I started to do, like, tech work, like, getting into technology and everything. He started to do it, and then, like, undercutting me, like, when he's uh, s- selling his services, right? Uh, he, uh, I came to America with my brother's band. He came to America following me, and I got into heavy metal. He got into heavy metal, or so he claimed. In fact, this is what breaks my heart. Sorry, is this all coming from the dumpster? Yeah, I'm shouting all, all this out of the dumpster. <laughs> it's echo. The dumpster is really amplifying it well. Yeah, you can, you can hear it all over the street. <laughs> now imagine this is like a flashback with like yeah. you guys all at a bar, and he's like, "Let me tell you what I hate about this guy." <laughs> so there was one night. It's like I saw him at a party, and somehow this man, this treacherous little weasel, had gotten his hands on Jimmy Page's 1960 Gibson Les Paul. It had been oh, missing yeah. for the better part of a century. And he got hammered on a couple of cans of smash. <laughs> and the bastard, he threw it over, over the railing off the roof to the street below. And I watched it shatter. And it's like, oh, me no. it's a precious like bit of rock and roll memorabilia. And he just destroyed it without even thinking. And he did it to hurt me, he did it to hurt me. And I swore I'd never forgive him. And then he comes here posing as the man who subjected my entire family to physical and emotional abuse for 10 fucking years. Only Archie fucking Scotty Doohan would ever dream of doing that. Why? <laughs> I got one question. Who's Jesse Page? <laughs> Jimmy Page Look we can get into all this later But first uh, on, Never heard of him Please kill the cyber psycho right? <laughs> Please kill the cyber psycho right? From the dumpster I'll tell you all about Zeppelin As soon as this is over so Assuming any of us survive Ragbone Kevin Ragbone walks up And he's just like Cool as a cucumber he Oh he's seen up. this before Are you kidding Assistant to Jade This is like a weekly event this kind of thing. And he works for the company. Like, I mean, he's just, this is what he does. He's protected plenty of Jade in his time. Walks up, gun out, takes a shot off, puts his hand to protect Jade, and then ducks down as well. Let's see if he hits. Ooh, a nine on a D10. I think he's going to get a ragbone. Oh, ragbone, you squirrely son of a bitch. He hits her. Uh, hits her Come with on. his uh, very heavy, or, or what is it, a heavy pistol or a very heavy? heavy? Very heavy pistol he has. Ooh, that's 4D. Very heavy. Mm-hmm. That's 4D? Yep. 4D, roll two sixes, Lavalle. Oh, nice. oh, man. Okay, let's see. That's Give two threes. Wound. Two threes. Does that do anything? Six, and then a five and a two. So six, seven, eight. 13, uh, 13 points of damage we're going to ablation town, ablation yeah. town. Oh, wow okay. you've been ablated you've been ablated <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, okay wow good for you Kevin Ragbone and then he just <laughs> ducks down right in front of Jade to protect her classic um, Ragbone it's class man that is textbook classic Ragbone classic. let me tell you classic classic Ragbone it is Sister Christian's turn Sister Christian you see this Quake she doesn't see you but you're watching every move she makes. She literally walks up, drops the flamethrower on the edge of the dumpster and just blasts fire into oh, no. the oh. dumpster. So it doesn't even get any cover? Oh doesn't my even God. get any cover? Dumpster. Maybe she'll oh. miss. Maybe she'll miss. Let's see here. Uh, shoulder arms. That is going to be an 11 against your stopping power of your armor. Oh, God. That no, no, counts no. it exactly. Oh, no. Excuse no. me. It's against DV-13. Oh, because it's missed. a shotgun shell, and I missed. Oh, and I missed. So she blows in. I forgot. When you're using a shotgun with the shells instead of slugs, it's like everyone within a six-meter radius. In this case, she just puts it inside of there and localizes this blast in there. And Lemmy, what do you duck behind so that you don't get hit by this? Is there like a trash can lid in there or something? Yeah, like a keg. 
A keg of smash. <laughs> empty <laughs> keg of smash. <laughs> oh my god, he holds up an empty keg and the flames yeah. are just barreling past the keg. <laughs> Lifting off the sides of it. Even more frightening than it probably looks. That's incredible. I bet you were looking at it being like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That is insane. I thought, how, how could oh. I miss that? That's great. Uh, yeah. If it was, if I was just going a straight up shotgun uh, slug against you, it's against your uh, uh, armor or against how the distance, not against your armor. It's against your opposed roll or the, the distance. distance. But I'm using a shell, in which case I've just got to hit DV 13. And if I hit it, everyone gets the, the damage of the flamethrower. Okay. In this case, an 11 won't do it. So it is Ron Yolo's turn. Oh. Come on, Ron. Oh. I'm rolling. Four. All right, so what is your plan to walk up there and take a shot? Yes, I have uh, I have my heavy pistol. All I right, wanna, so I, I want to I want to do the 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 um, duck and cover after the shot. Okay, kind of like what what Jay did, but maybe on the other side of the staircase. Yes, exactly. All right, exactly. so that's gonna be a four plus your reflex plus your handgun skill. So if you okay. look at your handgun base, add that to four and tell me what you got. Got it. Okay, so my handgun is uh, base eight, and I've got six reflex, and I rolled a four, so that's eight. No, but the base no. includes your reflex in there, I believe. Oh, it's your handgun yeah, it plus yeah. your reflex. A plus four is twelve, and you needed a fifteen, so uh, Yolo steps up and misses. Uh, no, no, uh, no. I have missed. I am sorry, team. Run. Moto. It is Moto's turn. Moto, you've got a, a, a keg that you just duck behind that is just red hot on the other side. You can feel it's uh, it's so hot inside of this dumpster. You're sweating bullets. Uh, you can now see Sister Christian her, leaning over the edge of the dumpster, looking down at you, and she's like tapping the edge of the flamethrower like, how did that not hit him? You know another fire is coming at you. What do you do? Okay, so his finger's burning with this, holding this case. Ah, it's, it's like, who pulls up the shotgun? A boom! Oh uh, my, point blank. point blank. That is going to be a, a lower DV to hit uh, where you're so close for a shotgun at that range. I can tell you it's going to be DV 13. 13, exactly. Oh! <laughs> nice. Did I get that right? Yes, zero to six meters is DV 13. So you hit her! All right, 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage will continue to ablate her armor, and she actually is in bad shape. Great, yeah, you've got the best view on this, because while the others have, have ducked for cover, they're really just protecting themselves. She knows there's stuff going on there, because she's getting hit by all of you guys. She just has been paid to kill Lemmy. It's a hit job. Top of a new round. Everyone is cowering, hiding in this staircase. Lemmy is in a dumpster getting lit up. He has not get hit yet, though. Quake, what do you do? Uh, Quake, he's had the gun pointed at her the whole time, and now that her attention is diverted, he takes this opportunity to move up and fire. So he's going to move up to make sure that he is within six meters. Okay, that uh, you can do that easily within one round. You were basically you're exposing yourself. You're coming to the the south side of the dumpster. She's there, still banging at it, trying to get a good shot off. You're at point blank range. Yeah. So he just walks up, do 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 do, do and then blat. Very heavy pistol shot. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. Um, that was DV thirteen from zero to nice. six for a And heavy so he pistol. puts a big old slug in her. Uh, ooh, fourteen. 14. Okay, that will ablate the armor, and she looks on her last legs. Finish please, her off, Jade. Please finish her off. Jade. Finish her off. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this here's the thing is like, if Lemmy even gets hit but doesn't die, it could be a bad enough hit where he's got to spend the night in the hospital. I'm going to get skin grafts if you don't finish her off. <laughs> <laughs> Holding that right. peg up against no this. No pressure. No pressure. What's her name again? Do we know her name? Sister Christian. Sister Christian. Sister Christian. So, yeah, we see that, like, he was able to retaliate and block, so he survived. Um, so she gets out of cover, goes up the stairs, and aims at her and goes, What the fuck did she say? She's like, Is that what she says? You. <laughs> She's trying to be cool. It's like, What did she say? <laughs> what the fuck did she say? Um, and she points the gun at her and she's like, You weren't expecting Moto to have friends. 
and nice, Ooh, yes. nice. <laughs> she was cold blooded. Fifth, sixteen. For a 16, and you walk right up to right, basically where Quake is. Right so next to Quake, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You Dude, do look at these two. Moto. I can see them next to each other, both guns drawn. Yeah. Black, 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 black. Backdoor black. Quake right next to her. That is a <laughs> Old hit. Quake. Oh, nice. and also, I forgot last time. I have a two rate right of fire, so I'm going to shoot her again if she doesn't die. I don't like your tone. That is a okay. huge thing to forget. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is this right. my Big. first time playing this game? Well, I was like, yeah. oh, mine too. Mine too. <laughs> so I got a four, a six, and a five. So 15 on that one. Is she down? Oh my God. Sister Christian crumbles to the ground. Yes. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, awesome. We were wow. so exposed. When I walked out of those stairs, I was like, they have Jade and Kevin Ragbone have to kill this woman before it's her turn again, or we are fried. Yeah, because she could be like. High five Ragbone. <laughs> <laughs> and he just. She's such a cool boss. She's yeah. such a cool boss. Imagine, like, if she was like, ah, I'll deal with you in a second, Moto, and just turns the flamethrower on the stairwell. She could have got all you guys if she stepped up to the edge uh, yeah. of it. Uh, but instead, bet you weren't expecting that Moto had friends. Scotty, uh, old uh, Archie Scotty Doohan was expecting you to be uh, all by yourself. It was yeah. your new friends that saved you. <sighs> nice. She falls to the ground, just gunk, 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 lies. The flamethrower just fizzling, pff, pff, shooting dead little uh, spouts of flame, and it fizzles out as well. The bouncer opens the door, peeks his head out, like looking around to make sure nothing got burnt around the edges. But it's just another day at the office as the bouncer of ignition. A couple seconds later, Fox comes out. Hornet's bodyguard, the woman in the mask with the katana on her back. Right. She steps up, walks up the stairs, looks at all of you, looks down at Sister Christian and says, he would appreciate it if you kept a low profile starting now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, let me (laughs) thrust his thumb up over the lip of the dumpster says, hey <laughs> from that one all right <laughs> understood you won't hear nothing from us for the rest of the night and he uh hol- holsters his very heavy pistol i'm so glad they use that exact phrase <laughs> because it just allows you to picture an absurdly large pistol <laughs> yeah that's why he's just like a very heavy pistol. Very heavy yeah. pistol. Yeah. He's just, just kind of, I was curling my pistol last night. <laughs> Fox uh, hands Jade a slip of paper. Says, "This is where you need to go tomorrow night. Be there at this time, not a moment later. The train leaves the station, and you need to be on it." Sure thing. Thank you so much, Hornet. <laughs> I love your whole style, your deal. It's great. First Thank of you. all, Hornet left 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I thought you said it was Hornet. I'm okay. Fox. It's Fox. Oh my God. I don't know oh why I'm Fox. So that happens all the time. People call me Hornet and him Fox. Are you guys related? No. I'd all rather right. not discuss it. <laughs> Fox, but just are you make single? Sure. Are you single, Fox? Yeah. <laughs> you and so you I need to calm it. down, Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> so love in the time of the red, baby. Fox. I'm loving the time of the red. <laughs> <laughs> love in the time of the red. <laughs> love in the time of red. Yeah. By Gabriel Garcia Marquez. <laughs> yes. uh, you must leave some space in your heart, no? Fox is like, I'm a solo in role and in life. <laughs> and she walks off. Wow. Ice cold. Ice cold. You just see her walking down the street. (laughs) You just see her back with the katana on it as she strolls down the street, ducks into an alley, and it's gone. That wasn't a no. Like, listen, the piece of paper solo. she handed Jade is The next time you want to flirt with someone, just hit the guy first and then uh, flirt after. Uh, Mount you, that was my mistake. Sorry. <laughs> next time, of uh, course. Mount you, that was my mistake. Uh, <laughs> next that time. was my mistake. Le prochain uh, temps. Uh, next time. Next time. Next time, I should better. <laughs> 
<laughs> you shoot both those shots better in love and in fighting. <laughs> Rate of fire, too. <laughs> That's true. And from there, we sh- fade out. And we come back up with just little vignettes of all of you in your home life. What is your home life like? Obviously, we know Jade has it a little better than the rest of you. She gets to stay in the, what, the Conapt apartments that are owned by the corporation. When you're an exec, you get to eat a little bit better. You get to live in a nicer, uh, nicer style of place, whereas you guys are living in, like, storage crates. Like, uh, what are they called? Um, your yeah, life I don't remember now. It's a specific uh, word. Uh not not crates, I for, but I forget it. But anyways, <laughs> you're basically remember. living in like in poverty. Whereas if you're an exec, you start living nice, and then the the higher you level up, you get to live in nicer and nicer places. Um, but you guys start out. It's going to drive me nuts. I have it right here. Uh, if you if you're not an exec, you're living in a rented cargo container. <laughs> either in the overcrowded suburbs of the city or in a combat zone and living a not so luxurious kibble lifestyle mm-hmm. um, and even that you're paying rent for and a character creation says the first month's rent and kibble are free chumba but you owe 1100 eddies on the first of next month or you're getting evicted on the second this is a 2000 eddie job so you're doing this job just to be able to pay the rent on that shitty cargo container and you have 900 bucks to be able to spend on something nice maybe a cyber upgrade maybe a new gun now jade 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 gets a free rent for how long i don't pay rent you don't pay rent yeah i live in the corporate zone i have a two-bedroom apartment got a balcony but if you want to live that have that good pre-pack lifestyle instead of eating kibble that, that costs you 600 eddies a month. So, again, she's got it a little bit nicer than the rest of you guys. But this is what I want to know. Like, what does it look like the night before a score? What are you guys doing at home? Uh, Moto, you just had a run-in. First of all, you're, you've got to be pulled all over the place. You thought it was Uncle Dan, but no, it's another nemesis of yours. That thing that you told them, rather than having in the dumpster, I imagine you guys all went out to another bar and you were just like, let me tell you about Archie Doohan. Yeah. And that was your explanation of that. But now you're back home alone in your little cargo container. What is what is your life like? So he li- he's, he's got his cargo container and it's set up like a fix-it guy's garage. And he's got his workbench. And all over the walls are posters of poison... Black Sabbath uh, uh, and White rat. Snake. White Snake. <laughs> Def Leppard. Def Leppard. <laughs> <laughs> the Def is this Leppard can hear nothing. <laughs> and he's 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 got his custom sonic emitter that he built himself sitting on on the workbench that's built to look like a 1980s Sony boombox, and he's blasting lady by sticks and just like to a deafening degree it's like it's like a neighbor like slamming his fist like on the wall of it and he's just like bent over his shotgun and he's just like doing some last minute like modifications with his goggles on and he's just focused on the work focused on the work making sure his gun doesn't stick when he needs it to pop uh yolo you're from the reclaimer territory and that's where you grew up but you and your family are even further out than that now you're in night city what do you do when you spend a night are you sleeping on the streets or do you have somebody you can stay with what are you doing i am with my nomad family we are uh, in the (laughs) center of town we we have a little spot where we have a a cargo container that we have our uh, land vehicle in that we like to fix up we like to repair we like to you know gas up cool things like racing stripes and things on that you know you've gone from Gerard Depardieu (gasps) to Cheech Marin (laughs) (laughs) I didn't want to say anything because he's a man French he's not here man (laughs) it's a weird one it's a very weird French (laughs) it's very weird he's from North America but uh, yeah we 
We are uh, in my family. We are uh, fixing up cars. We are fixing, working on cars. I'm learning more about flying vehicles because I want to fly. I want to have pilots license. <laughs> yeah, your license is a pilot. <laughs> a, a little bit of Russian. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yes, I want to learn how to fly. I want to fly. All right, so you're hanging out in the center of town with yes. your nomad family. Just yeah. you got your convoy of vehicles, and you're bouncing yeah. around, and you're talking to your buddy who's a pilot. And you're just like, "I got to be on a train tomorrow night, but do you mind giving me some more flying lessons?" Yes, I, I need to know. It's it's my dream. It's part of my dream. Yes, <laughs> I want to become it's a great flyer. Great I just want fly. to. I want to physically fly. I, like I believe. I believe I can fly. <laughs> Jade, Fancy Pants McGillicuddy, uh, do you say goodbye to Kevin and uh, give him a time when uh, to meet you tomorrow? What, what goes on? What's the whole exchange between you and old Ragbone? Oh, yeah. I mean, we go off separate ways. He's not on the clock all the time. Um, I go back to my apartment in the corporate zone. It's two bedroom. My sister May lives there with me. And what mm -hmm. I imagined is that in the past, when I was growing up, she's my older sister, is that she took care of me. She took care of us while we were in the megastructure. And it was like a hard life. And she's injured. She's unable to work anymore. And I provide for us now. Mm -hmm. And Jade is bubbly and fun and fluffy on the outside, but she's kind of a monster on the inside. Mm -hmm. Um She's driven by vengeance and power. So she's ordering in with her sister. They're having a great time, but at the same time, she's making sure her nails are on and she's making sure her gun is nice. She's getting ready. Jade knows what she's, she's about to go do a job. She's yeah. not, uh, I mean, May knows that. She's not happy about it. Yeah. Does she, how much does she confide in May? Like, does she tell May like, oh, I just fought a uh, psychopath of flamethrower and I'm about to go uh, do a train heist tomorrow night. Or you're just like, I got a job to do. How much information do you relay to May? I feel like she used to tell her everything, but she knows that May doesn't like it. It hurts her to hear. So mm -hmm. she just lets her know what doesn't hurt her. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to do this thing. Be right back. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she doesn't have to tell her. She knows. You guys watch the Americans? Yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like in the, I'm not no spoilers here, but in the later seasons when like one of the kids is wise. Oh yes, yeah. It's just kind of <laughs> yeah. like, all right, is Dad out on the job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he comes back. <laughs> Great show. You should all love, watch love it. Love that show. I think it's on Classic. Netflix, right? No. No. Oh no, it's FX. No, uh, Hulu. I think Hulu. Okay, yeah. just watch it. Great show. Great show. Great show. Uh, what about old Quake? Beef Quake. Uh, as uh, you blew yes, up in yeah. the uh, chat. I've got many loving uh, tweets Beef and emails. Quake. That it, apparently his name is Beef Quake. <laughs> <laughs> to the nation. Appreciate you guys. Um, What's Beef Quake's night like? Beef Quake. <laughs> Quake gets home. Uh, well, I'm not going to play it all out, but let's just see the, the quick scene. You come into his place, and it is uh, a cargo container. And it is gross and run down uh beat up furniture clothes on the floor uh grease on the countertop take out um, boxes and shit. take out boxes yeah. yeah exactly like take out boxes a, a bunch of pans just in the sink almost up to the faucet itself uh, and then you just hear the clack clacking clack clacking clack clacking of keys and we uh come around a little like hanging uh just like a curtain basically and we see a uh corporate modular utilitarian workspace uh which <laughs> is composed of several like pure small beveled white monitors uh three monitor setup with a uh, alternate standing and sitting desk uh which he's standing at right now uh just a gorgeous little setup uh amidst the squalor uh, he is looking up intensely uh, if you can see over his shoulder the typical structural setups of uh, train based networks uh, and digging into <laughs> what he might find uh, on this Militech train uh, you see next to him is a little USB stick that has a, a particular recording on it that we don't know what's on there yet 
And then up next to his corporate, corporate modular setup is a little framed poster that just says vision. And uh, <laughs> it has like a view of like the net on it. Oh, and it just cool. says a smaller under it. It just says a leader sees the organization not as it is, but as it can become. <laughs> <laughs> He types away. <laughs> Fade out of the air. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, once again, I want to remind you what the job is. You're making a hit on the Hammerhead. This is a heavily armored Militech cargo train that the Red Chrome Legion hijacked to transport cargo out of Night City. Cargo that they boosted from their rival gang, the Iron Sights. Cargo with DNA encoded locks that the Red Chrome are, are taking outside of town to a tech who can most likely crack those locks <clears throat> so they can get at the contents. Your job today when you wake up that night is to head uptown to the directions that Jade has on her paper, get on this train that Hornet has procured, that will, for 75 minutes, run parallel to the hammerhead. During which time you need to get on that train, get inside, steal those four crates, and get back on Hornet's train. You don't know what's in the crates, but you've been instructed to be very careful with them. 2,000 eddies each! If you uh, get this job done, and of course, if you do a good job for Hornet, it could lead to even bigger things down the road. Maybe you can get out of that cargo container. Maybe Jade can move up even further in the corp. Ron, you've got a vehicle. You picking everybody up? Do you grab something from the family today that could fit everybody and uh, drive them? Because you got to head uh, out of town a little bit, or at least to the northern edge of town. Yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, I'm uh, rank four moto. So I got uh, I got access to the compact ground car. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> hop in that. I'm gonna uh, go around, scoop up every. I'm gonna stop by the exact office first. Okay. A couple of minutes before he comes, Ragbone knocks on the door. He's very, very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you're always on time? Very punctual. 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 It's very punctual. So like five minutes before Yolo comes. Dun dun dun. Uh, you open the door, Ragbone's sitting there, and, or standing there, and he, he nods at you. You go out, you jump in Yolo's car. Hold on a second. Can we uh, do a quick flashback? Because yeah. we didn't see Ragbone scene, and I'd like to offer a possible <laughs> oh, Ragbone okay. scene, yes, which Kevin's is very good. short. Uh, it just consists of him leaning over a bar with a whiskey, just drinking it as his phone, as his agent. It's just going... <laughs> <laughs> with just emails from Jade like one after another and he's just drinking and he just like turns to the guy next to him and he's just like she says I'm not on the clock all the time <laughs> the work never ends it's a good rag band scene <laughs> drinking like that Centauri yeah. whiskey I'm getting such a clear yeah. picture of Ragbone. <laughs> she's like oh he's not on the clock all the time <laughs> oh no I want him to have his own life I want him to have his own life you do you but answer my emails <laughs> yeah and he leaves like a hundred euro bucks for a four dollar tab and then walks out yeah <laughs> I just Classic love that bone. Jade and Ragbone are I get yeah, well Ragbone's doing what Jade tells him to but Jade just seems like this crazy thrill seeker like she's doing this incredibly dangerous thing for less than a month's pay or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really interesting. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's like you got to boil down, like, what's the motivation there? What's Because yeah. it's, it's not money. It's got to be something else. Yeah. <laughs> power. 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 It's all about power. The power. That's hot. Murder. That's hot. <laughs> the power you feel when you see the light go out of a cyborg's eyes. <laughs> 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 that's not how you feel when you derail a train killing hundreds <laughs> yes. that's real power yeah. <laughs> money that's can't be why that it's like what God must feel like when he derails a train yeah <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you almost did a spit take. I almost did a spit take. <laughs> Troy can't get back on the yeah, board. He's got all the all it, all it together. Troy's all it together. Troy's done. Done. Oh. Done for the evening. <laughs> oh. Oh, Troy, you had a good run. We'll see you next week. Oh. Oh. Good night, everybody. Oh, that got me. That got me. <laughs> <laughs> what God feels like with the <laughs> derail <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, Adam told me had a picture of God being like, yes. And he's like, Dude, that's, right. that's the power like, oh. I've been seeking. <laughs> oh. All right, so oh, one by one. That old feeling. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, Yolo will grab up, uh, obviously, Jade <sighs> and uh, Kevin Ragbone, and then uh, Quake roll, roll, and Moto, and you head uptown to the directions that jade has uh entered into her agent from the sheet that fox gave her you get to this train station and there are half a dozen big big cargo trains most of them probably not even uh in use anymore uh they might be used as drug dens at this point maybe they're ripper dock outposts there's probably been some night markets here uh from time to time you see footprints everywhere like this area is used for everything but trains coming in and out places for sex workers to take their johns it's a it's a it's a dirty place and you guys show up there like looking for your train and as the five of you kind of stumble into this area hop out of yolo's car you look around then all of a sudden you hear click 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 whizz. guns being drawn on you oh, oh. what where? At the train what? station? At the train station from out of the shadows. And you see the lights of a couple guns whirring up. Then you hear a voice, a man's voice. Ron Yolo? Oh, God. Oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know this guy. Guy steps out of the shadows, takes you a moment, but then you, Ron, recognize him as this kid that grew up uh, near you in the Reclaimer territories. He's like, Ron, YOLO. It's been a long time, man. Heard you took up with the John Claude family. The hell we. brings you to Night City. We, yes. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> in Night City here. To do some jobs, maybe reclaim the glory that was the JC family. But we, I remember you from, where do I remember you from? We grew up together. We were, yes. we lived on the same block. My family yes. was about two houses down from yours. We used to play in the sandbox all the time. I haven't seen you since I was 10. And you, of course, yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Of course, I remember you. You are, you are my friend from very long ago, where we played yes. together as ten-year-olds. I remember. Yes, my name is uh, Elijah Toots. Elijah Toots. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Elijah Toots. Hey, Elijah. It's been so long. Uh, Elijah Toots. My yes. My beautiful yeah. friend. Uh, oh, yes, I can't. You, you know me. You I've know course. me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Are you, are you working uh, with Hornet too? I am. Uh, yes, Hornet has uh, given us this job. We we can make good money with this job, I think. Yes. Yes. Well, all right, guys, guys. And he waves off. There's like three guys with guns. He's like, they're cool. This is Ron Yolo. We go way back. <laughs> yes. Um, like you're you. who we were expecting. Um, and I'm actually your conductor this evening. I'd love to catch up with you, Yolo, but uh, we got to stay on schedule. Okay. Right. Why don't we hop aboard this train? Maybe uh, after the job, we can uh, 
grab some smash and catch up on old times. Want to find out where Ron Yolo's been these last 25 years? Because Elijah Toots has quite a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm just, curious. I was just this uh, uh, Betty Toots. <laughs> she okay? It's just too you know, good to feel. Well, it's been a tough life. <laughs> Grant, what are you thinking? Did, uh, did, uh, sorry, I hit the wrong face I see button. Grant dying off camera. <laughs> What's, uh, did you name him Elijah Toots because of the name a train, uh, the noise a train makes when it goes by? <laughs> I don't know if that's where my brain went, but that's where we're at. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Elijah work, everyone. I'm going to put that over <laughs> That's his handle. He's Toots. They call him Toots. Also, Toots. It I also has the benefit that. of being a spectacular name to say in a French accent. <laughs> <laughs> The dudes, uh, the dudes, uh, the dudes family always had such great uh, yeah. train driving abilities. Uh, <laughs> the dudes family, well known for your train driving, of course. Yeah, yeah, Mama family. Toots was a hell of a conductor back in the day. <laughs> Mama Toots. Yeah. Mama listen, Toots. Yolo, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friends to hop on. We got a... All right. Oh, shit, we're already a little bit behind here. But guys, we're cool. We'll be back. Later tonight, hopefully, with uh, whatever it is you're doing. Listen, Yolo, I don't know if you do these jobs with Hornet often, but, like, I don't know what you guys are doing. All I do is drive the train. You mean me to do something other than that? That's a separate job. So, hope everybody's cool. We'll take care of it. You just drive. Yes. Stay on schedule. All right. Yes. <laughs> don't worry about him. He's a little crotchety, but he's okay. Trust me. Yes. I hate you and all your friends. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Have you. Have you ever heard of uh, Slayer? Um, no, no. What are they? Oh my God! How much time have you got? I need to start. <laughs> Not a lot, actually. We were very late. We're on schedule. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> he just starts playing. <laughs> Explain to him on the way. Let's go. Right. As right. he he gets up, he he opens the door to the train. He turns back and he says, as old Mama Toots used to say. <laughs> Grant's <laughs> dying. <laughs> you don't have to like your passengers. <laughs> But you gotta take them to their destination. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words. Wise words for Mama Toots. Uh, uh, Mama Toots. <laughs> I learned so much from her. All aboard. <laughs> and he goes to the, the conductor's I wanna, station. I wanna say, like, when we get on or right before we get on, I give all of you guys a radio communicator because our agents, they're like cell phones, but if we're in the heat of something and separated, mm. I'm gonna give you a radio, radio communicator you can put in your ear. And I have a scrambler and descrambler, so we can be on our own, like in the ah. channel. <sighs> oh, that is sweet. That's oh, good. That's awesome. It's a great. I love these these models. Like very it's a nice choice there, Jade. Not I know, bad. right? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. These are good. Ooh, she knows her good. stuff. Yeah. Jade. I thought I'd tell you, like I don't into. normally like truck with the the corporate like slimy types, but mm -hmm. you're quite different. You know, I think uh, I'll make an exception in your case. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow! <laughs> Thank you so much. It's pretty uh, pretty uh, nice having an exec to get all this access to this I upgraded uh, equipment. High quality tech. <laughs> yeah, it was like when we started the Glass Cannon podcast, and Grant walked in. Yeah, Grant he started <laughs> handing out tech to everybody. <laughs> like, wow, this is really cool. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I work for a tech company, so here you go. There you go. Nice. So great. It's like what a benefit, you know. That's great. It's dirty money. Uh, you get on this train, it's nothing fancy, um, you know, uh, and Toots goes up front, starts her up, and you take off, and he says, I'd say it'll be about 35, 40 minutes before we're, uh, at the point where you're gonna need to go. He's like, I don't really know what the plan is here, but I was told to just stay close, try and keep pace with the train, I'll do my best to match its speed, but also not draw attention to ourselves. Um, and then, what is your plan? Are you just going to jump across? Y yes. Yes. We are pros. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We will do. Uh, <laughs> we are. And then we'll probably do some other things. But yes, definitely we'll jump across. Okay. Good. There's a, uh, a hatch in the caboose. You can pop out of there. Jump on the roof of this train. I'll try and keep her steady. And uh, whatever you do from there is your business. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, what is our plan, huh? <laughs> and can you bring us up to their caboose, to the back of their train? Line the backs up so he we looks, can go from the back to the back. He looks back and like, yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. It's driving the train. I prefer going in the back door. That's <laughs> oh, quick. That's quick for you. That's quick. That's, that's, quick. that's in my quick. character sheet. It's your signature like move. That. <laughs> Have you guys done a job together before, do you think? No. no. I think I've like, heard of these people, except maybe for Jade, but I've I've heard of them, but I've never we never I don't I don't think I've met these people before. Yeah, yeah like um uh I think that Quake has never heard of Ragnolo, but he's heard of Jean Claude and he hates him. <laughs> and because he hates everyone. when Moto <laughs> was like making a fuss over YOLO at the table he was like in his head he was like oh shit Jean-Claude and then he just was like trying to reserve judgment on Ron Yolo but he's just keeping it quiet keeping it to himself but he knows Jade he works with Jade uh, on and off she's been cool but they've never done a job together I don't think right Kate they've never like done a, an op together yeah I feel like uh, I help you out with something like oh you need something I have access to I'll get you access to it but we've never done anything like this before together yeah he started so basically Quake started doing a uh, some bigger hacking than he was doing previously because he's trying to uh, really strike a blow to this clan that we're, that we're, this job happens to be for the Red Chrome Gang and um, he needed to up his game a little bit so he needed some better programs and it was stuff he couldn't get uh, off the street and so he had to go corporate and um, he heard that Jade was willing to take a meeting and she uh, she took a meeting it, she, we, they did a lunch and uh, it went well what's so, in it for Jade? working with a, a scumbag like you well, unlike him, I don't hate everyone. Everyone has some sort of value that can like propel me somehow to like getting more power, gaining more money, which is power. Um, yeah, it's always better to have people on your side. So you needed something, I'll need something later maybe. Uh, yeah, a little, uh, you scratch my back. Call in the marker. But don't, Jade, don't scratch his back for, for God's sake. <laughs> with those claws. <laughs> those <laughs> long ass nails. You have cyber nails. Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can a lung. That's only on my left hand, though. Oh, okay. So. All right. Same. Same. And it probably feel really good. <laughs> yeah. For a second. Pretty nice. Yeah, for a second <laughs> until the blood starts pouring. <laughs> uh, all right, so you, you take off. Uh, are you guys planning the job? Are you talking about the job? Talking about what you might run up against? Or are you just thinking yeah. to yourself, like... Let's just see what happens. I feel like we should figure out how we're going to get this thing off the train and into the, our train. All right, I think we can get yeah. in the back door and y'all can provide me a little bit of cover if I can find an access point. I can log in, get a, a sense of the layout of this place. I'll be able to know what kind of security they have and perhaps where the security is the strongest is probably where we're going to find our cargo. So if we get in there and get into their net first, I think that should be... We could plan everything else from there. Now... Nice. Hopefully my goggles here can uh, help me find this quickly, but it might take a little longer than expected. I don't know. We might have to. Yeah, he might have to buy me some time. I wonder who should go to the train. Who should stay on our train? Uh, I should like. I think I should prob probably go to the train uh, myself because I think uh, if there's like a physical lock that's not like connected to the computer mainframe, I can break that myself. And then I might have to try to jury rig some kind of pulley system or something to get these crates off of the train and onto this one. So right, we don't have any it. idea what the weight is. Uh, if we can Bay carry weight. it, uh, we don't know. We can just throw it from train to train. We might need to rig up something. Yeah, they're probably going to be want to be careful with them regardless. So yeah, I'm going to need to be there, keep put my eyes on it, so I can figure out something. 
If the security system is weak enough and I can crack it quickly, we could also get a probably access to some cameras or something within the train. We might be able to Brilliant. see where guards are, where the cargo is. It could just be that easy now. Rarely is, but it's worth a shot. That would be fantastic if we could do that. It's great. That sounds like a plan. All right, so you're chatting for a while, thinking about this, trying to plan for what will inevitably be an unexpected, unplannable situation. Yeah, quick. Uh, I just want to add one more thing. Uh, Jade, do you have a, a limited number of those communicators, or could you give one to Yolo's friend that's driving the train? I just only have enough. Toots? Uh, right, Elijah Toots, just in case we have to communicate with him <laughs> while we're on the other train. That's a good idea. I only have enough for us and Kevin. Um, but Kevin, if you would be so kind, if you're going to stay with me, maybe we can give yours to the conductor for right now. Kevin. Kevin, your thoughts? Not solemnly. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're such a team player. Love it. <laughs> nice. Hands it up. You're going far, Ragbone. Oh, my God. Dude, I've like... worked with so many people like Jade. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Toots has got his uh, his comment. He's like, hey, can you guys hear me? He's like really like, hey, can you guys hear me okay? <laughs> just peeking. Yes, I'm not dude. used to using this. Yes, dude. Close the light. All right. Hey, I see the train up in the distance, and you look out the front of the train, and he's like, and you see the hammer. wild. This is wild. And he's like, all right, I'll be with within distance very, very soon. He's like, all right, listen, I don't know what Hornet told you, but it's going to be around 75 minutes. I wouldn't give it 74. Do what you need to do and get back here as fast as possible. And they run parallel to each other. And just imagine, just like, ticking clock begins. Train heist. It's a train heist. Train heist. Uh, so you go back to the back of the train, go to the caboose. You know, it's, it's probably like three or four cars. It's not a big train. And it looks like neither is the hammerhead. Hammerhead looks to be about four cars length, four car length. Is that how you say it? I don't know. In train speak? Yes. <laughs> Yellow knows <laughs> trains. Yes. Yeah. Four yeah. car length. The train, the train, the train we say the four car length. Yes. yes. So your hammerhead is your classic four car length. Um, <laughs> This uh, the train that you're on is about the same, and uh, you go to the caboose. There is a hatch. Any of you can climb out onto that hatch. Who goes up? Who goes up? Uh, Quake. Uh, <laughs> sure, quick. Man, you know what, Francis? For a guy who has not played a lot of tabletop RPGs, you get it. You nail it. it. Go get it. First thing you do is offer your friend to walk through the door. That's that's how you play tabletop RPGs. Go get it, Ray. Uh, yeah, Quake will go up first. That's fine. All right, so Quake climbs up, and you're up on top of the train. It's like fucking Polar Express, dude. And you're like, blowing but you just see night city in the distance behind you and the wasteland so cool. of the outskirts <laughs> ahead of you there are lights but they're not what they were 20 30 years ago it is cold and dark and you feel very alone and you're on top of a moving train uh who else goes up with you uh uh lammy will go up as to claim the climb up the ladder it's like whoops winds hair crazy hair is blowing it's like oh Wow, I was not ready for this. <laughs> Lemmy's hair is all like That's blown back. Yeah. You can see it. Well, more of a scalp than you normally see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's next? Okay. I'll see I'll much up. faster when you're right. standing on them. <laughs> so <laughs> right. The wind in your I will, eyes. I will go up. I will go see <laughs> support support the team. All right, Yolo, you're in your element. Climbing up yeah. on top of trains. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yolo, you're in your element. It's a little yeah. breeze. This <laughs> is classic nice, Yolo. It nice is. Uh, You've it's been nice training life. for this your whole yeah. life. <laughs> they call it train surfing. Train <laughs> surfing. This is hey, the nomad way. Oh, oh, hey, okay. <laughs> Ragbone, Kevin Ragbone looks at Jay and is like, Are we oh. going up? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to the other train, so I don't see why we would go up. But I do on the radio say, once you get over there, figure out where 
like what train it is, let us know, like the car number, so we can mirror and be ready for you. So you want to let them go alone? Wait, well, are, they, are, they, are, they, uh, are they getting right into the train or are they going to be traveling on top of it? We're getting, we're on top of the train and I, our plan is to jump onto the other train and then climb down the back and in the back door, right? I mean, isn't that yeah. the idea? Well, that's what People have to stay on the other train, right? Not necessarily, no. no. Toots no, is not our Not our party, the, our driver will. And or did the armed guards stay as well? No, the armed guards are gone. It's just Toots. It's just okay, toots so Toots is just driving the train and we're going on this side. Yeah. You can stay back if you want, but I, I assumed we would all go on the uh, Militech train. Yeah, Ragbone's oh. a couple rungs up and he's like, wait, do you want to stay? Oh, no, no, no. I thought that people had to stay on the other train yeah. to pass the cargo to. So well, we can I also just it. jump back over before, right yeah. before we pass it. You know. Yeah, oh. depending on the cargo oh, okay. situation, you you you're gonna have to make some decisions if and when you procure that cargo. Okay, Jade, we he go calls up. down we into the up. hole. We need your gun <laughs> on the other train first. I am on the same page with you now. <laughs> <laughs> In her headset, amazing. Coming. So glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> I'm just gonna loop back and get back up there. Yeah. <laughs> Come back. All right, so you guys put a pin in that. Kevin Ragbone come up and the dude is so fucking suave. He stands up there and the wind is just blowing his beautiful black suit in the breeze. Pink collar flared out and you're like, this guy has rode a few trains in his lifetime. <laughs> he makes him look good. On. He Yo, reaches a hand back. down. Really back, <laughs> reaches a hand down, pulls Jade up the ladder, uh, gives you a hand up and you guys are standing on top of a moving train going 110 miles an hour. You see that other train. It is within jumping distance. What do you do? Uh, Quake will jump. All right. This is going to be an athletics check. So that is uh, oh, your man. main <laughs> athletics, reflex plus your athletics uh, uh, skill if you have anything in it, which I think you all have at least two. And then uh, a D10 roll. Uh, okay. Um, Gosh. Here we so go. It gets intense. <laughs> Do you say anything before you jump quick? Uh, no. Uh, he just <laughs> bears down, jumps, and rolls a 13. It is DB 13. Oh, oh, thank God, because that so was a pretty like, high roll. He is not like very athletic. Cat. He's so big. Do you have any... What's your athletic skill? Zero. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. wow. So okay. it's just his deck. Yeah, I so. don't know why. Maybe that was an accident. Maybe I was supposed to put points in that automatically. I don't know. Kate would know. So, She's memorized the rule book. Kate, isn't <laughs> athletics one of the skills you have to put at least two in? It is. I feel it like is. it is. It is. Okay. Yeah. So then, for my character, yeah. So then 15, <laughs> and I 15. will surreptitiously remove two from my language <laughs> skill. Or She's probably at like a 10 in computers, and you can't go that high. Uh, yeah, anyways, all right, so you get there, but by the skin of your teeth, you're like, whoa, whoa, you land on top, a little off balance. Uh, Kevin Ragbone looks at Jade and says, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going, and he jumps. Kevin's is so business. And uh, rolls a 17. Dudunkunk lands on top of the train as well right next to Quake and reaches an arm out to you, Jade. <laughs> I go along. If I can ass- be assisted, that'd be great, but I don't think it's necessary. Thank you. <laughs> this is job. 18. Oh, oh, 10? Gosh, dude. 18. 18. Uh, all right, so you get Jade. over with it. With wow. ease. Uh, you don't even need Kevin Ragland's help. She doesn't even break stride. It's like she just yeah. walked from one train to the other. <laughs> In <laughs> heels. In yeah. heels. <laughs> the trains were so close at that point, you could have just stepped over, but you still yeah, just... she just like yeah, yeah, casually yeah. walks across the like this. Uh, YOLO and Modo, you were the last ones left. What do you do? <laughs> uh, I roll a... Oh, so wait, I'm taking my uh, uh, athletics base, and I'm adding it to the roll, right? Yep. Okay, 16, I roll, and I, uh, I jump across. Yeah, with ease. Easily. Easily. You're all looking back, and you just see Lemmy, that hair blowing in the breeze. He looks like a psychopath. So Lemmy... <laughs> Lemmy has been, while this is going on, he's been messing with his communicator with his tool hand, making some adjustments to connect it to his music player and his agent. He puts it back in and blasts crazy train just to psych himself up. <laughs> 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 
I don't appreciate that, but okay. Fourteen. Fourteen just makes it on D thirteen. Grab him. And then Quake catches him. <laughs> oh, here's oh, something you probably are not surprised to know. There are consequences if you fail. I, but you all succeeded. Yeah. You're all on top of this train, the five of you. Just imagine this picture. Two moving trains parallel to each other, moving at around the same speed. And you're all standing there. You look down and you see on the caboose of the hammerhead a hatch similar to the one you climbed out of on uh, Toots's train. <laughs> uh, but it's not something you can just pop open. There is some tech around it. It's going to be a basic oh. tech check to try and pop it open. Good thing oh, you have a no. tech aboard. Take a look at this. Right on it. And he goes over and takes a look at it. Is this a pick lock check? It's actually basic tech. So, oh, just uh, basic tech. Yeah. Okay. Do, what, do you, what is your basic tech uh, skill? Eight. Eight. Oh, okay. I, actually, I'm higher than that. Oh, really? Yeah. <clears throat> Basic tech, yeah. Wow. Well, uh, he can roll it, it and if he fails, it, then you can do something to try and help him do another roll or something like that. Well, I mean, Skid, do you have that and your stat? That's just the stat. My stat, my tech stat is eight. Oh, you don't have uh, any points in the basic tech skill. Uh, oh, basic tech. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the... T- Tech stats. No, yeah, it's, sorry, no base it's, a, it's a weird tech, name for a skill. Basic tech base is 14. 14. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, 18. Okay, so you're standing on top of this train. Moda's the last one to jump over. You look around, you see the hatch. He gets down and starts tinkering with it, and you realize you've got it. Nice. You've got access yeah. into the caboose. Two You've all landed like kittens <laughs> on top of this train. What do you do? Uh, uh, Quake is gonna. Go Quake is gonna. Yeah, open <laughs> the hatch slowly and be like, "Yolo, you're up." <laughs> and nod right. into the hatch. <laughs> Yolo, good luck. Pushes him in. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What am I doing? No, uh, we're looking around, right? Do is this a perception check situation? Uh, it can be, no, uh, no, can sure, but, uh, or stealth. Are you stealthily opening it okay. and then taking uh, yeah, a peek no. in? I am stealthily opening. Well, I said I opened it, so I'll okay. stealth it. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll okay. a quick stealth. You roll the stealth, and then Yolo, you can peek your head in. Okay, and I'll roll a quick stealth. That's a fourteen stealth. Fourteen stealth. Okay, so okay. you open the hatch. Wait a second, nothing happens. Ron, stick your head in and roll uh-huh. perception. Okay. Uh, my perception is what I roll plus the stat, right? Yep. Uh, okay. So perception is probably... Uh, it's, your, it's awareness okay. skill. It's your skill plus your stat plus 11. Where's that? It's awareness skill, skill plus stat plus 11. Okay. So I rolled a 7. Uh, and... So my base to that is what, 16? It's a 16. 16 total? 16 okay. total. What's my, the stat base... that's attached to perception? My Intelligence. Stat... Intelligence. Yeah. So intelligence yeah. plus mm-hmm. your perception skill right. plus the D10. Right. That's nine plus seven. Okay. So Six, I, had a, I had a five for the, for the intelligence and a four for the perception skill. And then I just rolled a seven. Okay. okay. So 16. So 16. Everybody, let's head over to roll 20 real quick. <gasps> oh, my God. We're really doing it. We're really doing it. Wow. Really Did really you enjoy the uh, portraits by at Sean makes? Yes. And maybe you'll enjoy the map also from oh, at Sean makes. What? He this did the map? This is you see, Yolo. What? Oh, that's oh, so wow. cool. It's the oh, same style. Cool. You look down, Yolo, and you see four crates, one big one. Holy three shit. square, Whoa. and there are three guards walking around oh, with weapons. Shit. There is a Whoa. door leading deeper into the train, and they're just shooting the shit. Like, ah, ah, fuck that, Ron Yolo. 
<laughs> no, they don't say that. <laughs> if I see that Ron Yola around here. Uh, no, they're just kind of, they're walking around. They're, they seem bored. Like, why are we even on this train? No one's ever going to break in. Um, that's what you see. And the hatch is to the back. You know what I'm going to do is I'll just put Ron Yola right there. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's where I'm looking in from. Yeah, so you're, okay. if this was the three dimensional map, you'd be up top. Okay. okay. And you're kind of peeking in. And are either one of these our target or no, these crates? Uh, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta no. fix the spelling of your, your name here. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's Come just on, me. Come on, Valley. It's a, your love. Oh, your love. Yeah. Is, uh, is that. <laughs> one, you love. Your love. Your love. Um, it, it, do I still have a move here? Uh, no? I'm just well, so right. not, you I, can I, tell I, them what you saw, and then you guys okay. can deci- kind of like decide as a team what you want to do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna relay what I saw, guys. Guys, I look inside. This is what I see. I see some crates, and some gouts, and some gouts, some gouts. <laughs> what shall we do? Uh, is there any cover in there? Uh, not much. It's a very small room. Is there cover? Is there? Is there? Uh, there is lots of cover um, is? from okay. the back of the room. Um, the way cover works in uh, Cyberpunk, I love. It's very simple. If there is something in the way of where you're trying to attack, you can't attack it. But you can attack the thing. And depending on the thing, uh, after a certain amount of damage, it gets blown away and the cover no longer exists so yeah if you were all able to stealth down into there there's a chance you could get the jump on these guys um but if one of you fucks up that's all it will take to like start a firefight possibly um Uh, but it's it's you see three guards just peeking in there it's uh it's dangerous so our options are to all of us try and stealth into that in through that hatch and then attack right if we can go quiet enough maybe we can get behind some of this cover before they even see us and if they do just try to draw them in so that they're all boxed up together and we got them on either side so what he's saying is basically just try to stay on either side of this little hallway and pincer them so if they come in here we got Put them in the middle of us, and we can have them attack them from both sides, and maybe we could even hold them so the ones in the back can't even get to us. Maybe Let's create a, create a, a choke point. A choke yes. point. You and said it a lot better. It's <laughs> all so awesome. Oh. Their guns come out of their cyber arms. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> and, uh, uh, let me like this? opens his opens his jacket. Says, "I've also got a few of these little babies," and he's got five uh, flashbang grenades. Oh, uh, oh! Yes. Just open then no stealth at all. all. Right, this might come in handy. Like announce our presence with authority. <laughs> just well, open that's with allowed the though. If there's other people on the other cars, no, give not them a allowed heads up. in the train itself. I don't think <laughs> that's the train executive. Is loud. That's executive thinking right there. It is well, a consideration. Are the, right. Do the flashbangs have just the flash option? <laughs> can we, can yeah. We can we, bang? Is it auto flash? <laughs> or can I turn the flash off? <laughs> flash. I need flash more flash, flash, flash bang. less bang. <laughs> <laughs> can I turn uh, the flash off? <laughs> can I turn the flash off? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? We're stealthing or we're flash banging in? What do you want to do? Let's try stealth. Train's uh, at the same time, uh, as he says, let's try stealth. Quake reaches into a, a separate holster and unclicks his visuality goggles and just like puts them on, sets it, boop, boop. And now he can see everything, you know, uh, in the meat space around. Uh, but he still has these goggles on in case he can interface with the net inside. So he's ready to go. Sweet. Sweet. Is that an option? Can we check for him to, to j- jack in? Is there a place for him to jack in? Maybe, but I'm not going to know till I get inside. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You can take All a right. meat space action uh, to scan. Um, 
But you got to use the visuality goggles. You got to use the visuality goggles. And as far uh, as I know, an access point that is between a, a sheet of aluminum, basically, is you're not going to find. It's not going to see through it, I don't think. Uh, you uh, basically can't see it through walls. Uh, uh, okay. So you got to Unless get the there. GM wants you to, or, or you know, it's, it's all GM discretion. Uh, yeah. I, I'd have to look so at the finer points of it. But, uh, yeah, the, the goggles you'll need when you, it's time to jack in. When you right. enter Tron space. Uh, so, so you guys uh, think oh, it's one by one self? Hold on, just to clarify. Uh, I think the nitty gritty is you could find one. It doesn't say anything about it. Jacking <laughs> in or jacking out, it says typically a wall between you and the access point blocks the action of jacking right. in. Right. My understanding of it is you could scan from up there and find out there's like something in the front of the train. But unless you're within six meters of it, three squares, you can't you jack can't in. Actually. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, and, then I'll do. You that. know what's so crazy is like, say you jack in to something and you're six meters away, but something pushes you further away in the while you're jacked in, it automatically jacks you out, and you Whoa. take all the damage of anything you haven't already uh, derezzed oh. because you're jacked out without doing it on your own, and you, you yeah. can just straight up die because it's just direct damage. Your armor doesn't block it; it's brain damage. That's why you just. Vegetable, um, hard jack. But yeah, you yeah, could if you want uh, do a scanner check uh, with your uh, meat space action right now if you want to. I will do that. I'll take a meat space action and scan. Hold on, before we go in, let me see if there's a seventy-four and a half minutes have passed. <laughs> Here we go. Long oh. discussion. You see the train starting to fire. Uh, <laughs> roll natural one. That's a five. Oh no, it's a five. You don't know. You got to get in there. Yeah. You don't know. Okay. I don't like, see uh, it's you know it's probably the speed of the trains. You can't really get a good sense of the the net. Like I said before, we wasted time up here. I gotta get inside. <laughs> Let's get inside. All right. So who's going first? Somebody stealth in. Stealth uh, who in who is the stealthiest? Let's just go through that because uh, I'm oh, plus yeah. nine. I have nine. Um. Let me see. I'm ten. Kevin has seven. Oh, Moto's got. So. Oh, I got 14. I got 14. Oh, well, there you go, Ron yeah. Yolo. So, Ron, will lead us off. And then, right, uh, and then uh, Moto, you're the next highest, so you go after him. Okay. All right, that go in. I go All right, in. Yolo, roll stealth. Roll stealth, too. I rolled a two, so that's uh, 16. 16. Oh. All right, Rolo. 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 <laughs> Rolo. 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 <laughs> Cut mm, delicious. <laughs> All right, Ron, you get down. Do you fan out to the left, the right? Do you stay right there? You want to make space for your buddies. This is where the uh, hatch yeah. is. I'm going to fan out to the left there uh, in that like corner. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah, Ron. That's, I love it. You can control that good, guy and move him uh, anywhere you want. Uh, who's next? You rolled a 16, uh, right? Lammy. Uh, Lammy's going to hit there and so. Oh, uh, 13. 13. All right, Lemmy. You're down there. Which way do you go? You can control your guy. Uh, Lemmy okay. is going to move over towards the right hand. God, this is great. Fan okay. out over there. All right, so the Lemmy shotgun comes ready. down. He's not as stealthy as he wanted to be. Tink, tink, maybe hits one of the, the rungs going down or lands on like a piece of uh, cardboard when he drops into the space. But then he fans out to the right. Who's next? Is it me? I have nine. Okay, we both nine. have nine. Oh, so, okay. Uh, okay, Ragbone's like, I'll go. <laughs> no, he's got seven, man. No, no, no. Ragbone. Your last Ragbone. It's cool. All right. We'll go first. It's cool. We'll, we'll go first. Okay. Uh, Quake will be go. Be safe. Jade, be safe. <laughs> uh, I can't have any more lovers. That's a little better <laughs> than crappy. That's a 15. <laughs> he's just very protective. Ragbone. He's Ragbone's good at his job. 15 for Quake. Okay, where does Quake go? Quake is gonna. Quake is going to move over here. Yeah, okay, come over here with me. Come on, now. come on, Quake. Pardon hate me, me Yolo. You hate me, but I think you're okay. Ragbone. <laughs> Jury's <Yeah>. out, Yolo. <laughs> Jury's out, Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> Something about just That's calling okay. him Yolo. That's uh, right. That's I mean, job. you can say just about anything, comma Yolo, and it's Yolo. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's your story, Yolo? Uh, uh, Ragbone <laughs> looks at Jade and puts his hand down, like, "Be my guest." Cover me, Magbone. 
<laughs> Macbone. <laughs> I know. I'm she sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Does that Mac lose bone. some loyalty? <laughs> Find us too loyalty. Uh, what'd you roll for stealth? Uh, I got a nine. I have a nine, so eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. All right, so nice. just yeah, that's again. great. Nice. Crushed Stealthy. it again. All right, so you pop down. Where do you go? I guess I'll go um, next to Ron. Okay. Yes, everybody over here. You can control your <laughs> pawn there if you want to put uh, Jade uh, right next to Ron behind the uh, the crate to the left there, the larger oh, crate uh, to the north, if this was a north, south, east, west uh, map, then Ragbone. <laughs> Ragbone, you'll be the, you'll be the bait. You lure them out. <laughs> <laughs> Ragbone looks in and goes, they're here, go. No. <laughs> and then jumps oh, back no. to toots his train. He pulls out his other communicator, puts it in his ear. <laughs> They're here. I've They've landed. Them. They've landed. And then he just jumps back to toots his train. Uh, <laughs> Ragbone will uh, will jump down. He's got what did you say? A seven stealth. Yes. Base. A two. Oh no, oh, no. Ragbone. You're gonna blow it, Ragbone. When Moto came down, <laughs> you were the second one down, Moto. You kinda make made a loud sound. One of the guys you could hear <gasps> in the front be like, Did you hear that? What the fuck was that? Guy's like, Man, it's nothing. It's nothing. There's nothing happening here. I don't even know why we're here. We should be getting this a job better jobs. <laughs> this job sucks. I didn't sign up to be a fascist to stand in the back of a caboose gardening. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why I got into fascism. <laughs> This sucks. This job sucks. <laughs> but then old Rag, I got into fashion. This is why I got to guard the caboose of a train. I got into it. I can security. see how you'd be disappointed. Yeah, for sure. I hear there's a good job to plan in fashion. It sucks. <laughs> but then Ragbone comes down and rolls a. You sure he only has a seven base? Seven. Yeah, he's got five in his stat and then two points in it. Ouch. So Ragbone comes dunk, 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 comes down really loud. It falls down the stairs. It just lands, boom, it lands loud. And the guy's like, I just like, yeah, that's what I'm like. What the fuck was that? Oh, shit. And then this guy looks around the corner and goes, we've been boarders. Oh. Shotgun comes out. Oh. And we'll see you next week. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, Somebody picked up the flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> so you better not blow it. Oh, thank you guys so much. Good times. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next week. So great. Good night.